That was pretty cool. Oh, he's been having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Dinking around. Yeah. I hear Trust something me. talking. That was about the throat. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have my device up on it. Uh-oh. Trying to get over to Kenneth. Hello, everybody, and welcome. 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 Glad to have everybody here tonight. You'll notice we're missing a couple of people. <laughs> Yes, um, yes. Mel and Eddie, they're actually out there spending time with family. They had some family that actually came into town. But they live in town. Well, no, they had some that came up from down south, oh, too. that too. So they're hanging out with them. Uh, they're going to try to pop in here later, maybe. And then Kenny had a function at church, and he's going to be late, but he should be popping in here later this evening. Yes. So welcome, welcome, everybody. So glad you're here. And I got his on for moderation. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that in case we get uh, trolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nettie, Nettie texted me earlier and said, hey, make sure somebody's over there. I know. Troy's got his is. on over there. I'm there. He's, he's better at whack a troll than I am, everybody. Hello. <laughs> well, and I don't even know. I'm too naive, so. <laughs> I got to sit there and, you know, think about it. Right. What I got to say, say it. Like, what? Yeah. Tell you what, it's hot on this side of the panel. It it's starting good. to cool off. Yeah, there. sun's right on the back. It feels kind of good, but kind of hot at the same time. Oh, Lord, uh, yeah. It's been really cool here. Yeah, I know. It just, yeah, it ain't, we're not even getting out of the 60s right now. Yeah. So It was 87 today. Woo, oh, that's nice. Dang. We had a big old rainstorm come up in here the other day. Yeah, last night. Yeah. yeah, it rained pretty heavy. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's see go over here. and see who's here. Got going green, mom. Welcome, Her, welcome, welcome. She hit the reminder. Hit the reminder. Hopefully, she's back in here. Yeah. And then I think Nettie went into each person's stream and put this. Uh, she's going to try to jump in and hanging out with their family tonight. And Rose. Hello, Rose. Hey, Rose. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate it. And we got Levo. Hey, Lee. Glad to have you here. Thanks welcome. For coming in. Been getting rain. Oh. That's what we're hoping. We finally, the sun popped out later today. Yeah. All morning it was pretty cloudy. Yeah. But yeah, the sun popped out and it turned into a pretty nice day. No. And we have Naj. Hey, welcome. Naj. Hello, Naj. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. So glad you made Howdy time to have. get here. Just saying hi to some people. Yeah. The real Robert Rockwell. Welcome. Hey, welcome. welcome. Welcome back. Hello. Uh -oh. Ahoy, Captain Jack. Ahoy, ahoy. Hello, Captain Jack Scrapper. Hey there. Good to see you here. He's still over in Quartzsite, right? In that Parker. Area. Parker, yeah. He's Up in a, Parker, okay. Yeah. I seen his video the other day. He says 89 up there. Woo! Woo. Yeah, Catherine. Catherine Cook. Hello, Hi there. Good evening. Yes, Welcome. party time. TGIF. Woo, 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 woo. Party, party. Catherine Homer. Homer, Homer. Yeah. <clears throat> Diane Phoenix here. Welcome, Diane. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you. 
So glad you could pop in. All right. And oh, we got Roy and Becky in here. And howdy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> And there's Tim. Hello, Tim. Hi, Tim. Good to have you here. Yeah. Wow. I was making my presence known in Kenneth. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Everybody saying hello. Everybody yeah. saying hello. Mm. And Chrissy Mama. Hello. Hello from the Philippines. Hi. Thanks for being here. Good to have you. So glad you're here. Ours? Yeah. Oh, great. Uh oh. Whack a troll is um, Diane's favorite game. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to turn subscribers only mode on and off. I ask you if you do that. And Nettie reminded me on the phone today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's good about that. I know. She's really good about reminding you things. And yeah. here we have Ivan. Welcome, hey, Ivan. Hey, Ivan. Saying hi to Rose. Saying hi to Rose. People. Yeah, people saying hi to each other. See you, Tim, Diane, see you. Oh my goodness! Real Robert, uh, Real Robert Rockwell has two inches of snow. Oh, I was on my yeah. work. No, I'm working. This one girl says yesterday it was spring in Chicago, and today it's snowing. I was like, well, I'm glad I ain't where you're at. <laughs> snow belongs in a cup with fruit flavoring on it. <laughs> not, not on the ground. Not on the ground. Said hello, hello. A lot of hellos. Good morning. Uh oh, I even trying to track you down, Rose. <laughs> Wave your arms she, in there. She's not hard to find. She's right there. Right there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see her. All right, and I am down to the bottom. Yeah, is everybody trying to say hi to everybody? Everybody saying hello, hello. Saying howdy, howdy. <laughs> we're waving now. Oh, no, they're oh, waving they're at each other. <laughs> That's too cute right there. Uh, in the shade. Homer getting out stuff ready for a swap meet tomorrow. Oh, that sounds fun. There you go, Ivan. Also, moved on me. Rose said, I'm always here on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Sounds like fun, Catherine. Yeah. I agree with Catherine. No, or Naj here. Snow is a nice to visit, but not live in. That's all right. <laughs> I don't even want to visit it. I, I had <laughs> enough when I was back in Indiana for the Grand Baby. I don't want no more. That was nice where we lived in Washington because we were down on the west by, by the coast where you didn't get really a whole lot of snow, but the mountains were an hour drive away. So you could so drive if you wanted to, to go you to snow. To. You could get there. Yeah. <laughs> so you go to yellow. Well, it could be lemony yellow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Lime green. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not yellow. Yeah, stay away Put from the yellow. I've been for 50 years. No, 47 years. I don't want no more of it. Right? No more. Yeah. Snow is nice to visit, but not live in. Yeah, I don't even want to visit the snow, S word. <laughs> Looks good on TV. <laughs> snow looks good on TV. <laughs> oh, she was hiding in another feed. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. All right, well, I just want to say that even though Mel and Eddie not here, uh, Nettie has loaded everything. So, to, other than who's in here, Nettie Mel, Nettie not being here, uh, everything else is going to be the same. We're keeping the same schedule, the same activities, and everything that'll go through. Right. So, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the line tonight's up. lineup. And you'll see it's all the same. <laughs>
was just talking about how Roy and Becky's going to win everything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All the games y'all going to win, ain't nobody else up in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kenneth like, be late. That's right. Yeah, because Kenneth's going to be late. Yeah. Kenneth yeah. will probably be here. He can't live without lives. I know he loves it. <laughs> Getting up at 5 in the morning for that? Well, I hope so, because I know his little function was starting a little bit late. So I don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, Catherine. We might get some snow on Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> keep it. Yep, keep it up yeah. there. Don't bring keep it, it there. down there. No, <laughs> no, no. Some howdies. Some hellos. Oh, wow. I wanted to do that hike. Uh, Merton and I climbed Q Mountain. Yeah, we never did get around that this morning. There was no no snow in sight in any direction. I love it. <laughs> but we was going to climb that because um, Carolyn and Garrett was one did that, and they told us about it, but we didn't make it. Yeah, we didn't get to do a lot of things we wanted to do there. It's near town, Rose. You can see the big Q on it when you're in town. I don't know how you get to the hike, though. <laughs> you have to ask your neighbors. Yeah, it's in El Tyson LTVA. Cat Tyson. Okay, west. North. West. North is right here. It'd be uh, west LTVA. Yeah. <clears throat> Cross from the north. You go in that one, then follow the road back a little bit, and then you see where people hike it at. Yeah. Uh, Tim's saying it's right on the edge of town. Yeah, I know when we're in town, I can see the queue on it. We talk and about the queue. Supposedly, it doesn't represent quartzite. Really? Yeah, it re what? represents the, I forget the name of the mine company that started with the Q. Is oh. what it represents. Huh. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. I thought it was quartzite. We always thought it was quartzite. <laughs> we was in the town one time, remember? And the letter didn't match the name of the town. <laughs> <laughs> and Parker's got P. Yeah, Parker's got P. I haven't seen a Y for Yuma. No, no I don't remember seeing the Y. A y. There's not a lot of hills, though, in town. Really. It's pretty yeah, flat. Catherine yeah. saying Roy and Becky send some warm weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mail it up we there. A little. It got a little warm today, so yeah, we can spare a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going back into a little bit of a cool down. Oh, okay. Is it, is it normal to get warm this early there? Yeah. Yeah, um, usually sometimes in January it even it even get into the nineties here. Oh wow! wow. Dang. I didn't get none of that. Dang it! <laughs> well, I remember in February we took off on a hike with hoodies on, and then next knew we were yeah. going down. And our t-shirts gone. Ooh, we need shorts. Oh, yep. all right. Got up. It was chilly, and by the time we started the hike halfway through, we're both like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh. Captain Jack thought it was a landfill. <laughs> That's going towards uh, Parker. That's your landfill way down that way. I know, but the actual landfill is down that way on 90. 95. Yeah. yeah. There's all kinds of what mines over there. Some everywhere, are, everywhere, everywhere in Arizona is a mine. Some are inactive <laughs> and some are right. Yeah. When you and Duffy went on the Jeep thing, people were like watching you guys, seeing what you guys were doing. Like they knew they were there. Yeah. So they're watching. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that banner up there because Nettie's got it there. So y'all can come visit us. Y'all can come visit us over here on our channel. <laughs> we are getting so close. So close. We can taste on it. <laughs> it's like our hour for getting there. It's right so. there. Um, I think we're almost down to just only 500 hours left. Yeah, we about 500 hours. Right, so right. Go, go watch some videos. I got them running on my other computer, our channel running on my on my YouTube thing, so we can get some hours too. I probably, I don't know, you might get it next week. That'd be nice. Uh, if everybody does quick. their homework now, we, we would. We'll definitely be, we should be well under 500 hours this week sometime. Yeah. yeah. So. But everybody can jump on to, over to this. That'd be great. But you see the same stuff. It's just you'll be supporting us. 
just for watch yeah. hours. It don't yeah. change nothing for got another, anybody. Another travel day on Sunday. I think you're going to do a live again. I'm going to try to do a live again Sunday. Yeah. We're just, it's a short drive, so we'll see. Yeah, we're just going from here at Lake Whitney over to, to Wakeney. Yeah. Well, so, on this side of Dallas, yeah. we're going on that side of Dallas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Switch sides. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go try to go tomorrow to the Lyndon B. Johnson Library. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we didn't yeah. make it into that area. I well, didn't we got know that area. It's in uh, Austin. We got to go down to Austin. Down to Austin, yeah. Yeah, but we got them free tickets. I feel like we need to use it, you know? Yeah. So we're going to do that one, uh, and then we're going to try to do um, W's is up in Dallas. We're going to try to do W's. From Twakini. From Twakini next week. Yep. We can't get HW's is down toward Houston. We can't do it. It's too far. <laughs> Lake Twakini. That's where when we stayed there, we went to the Gene Autry Museum up in Oklahoma. It's not very yeah. far from it. We heard that, that was closed. The they might have closed it. I don't know. We got to go there, but I hope not because if you guys can go to that, go to that. Yeah. Yeah. When you get around it, but yeah, I hope it's not closed. That's what we heard. Uh, we was hearing about going to see that. There's an Air Force base too. We went to when we were at Lake Tawakini. You'll have to get with uh, Nettie on the name Mel and Nettie for that name because I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Old retired Air Force base. It's, it's a retired Air Force base, and they got their own museum there. Pretty cool. That would be uh, cool. I like that. Yeah, we'll have to ask them. It's ran by uh, veterans. I believe so, yeah. Everybody in there is a veteran, and they t donate their time to that museum. Yeah. Yeah, they're leaving Sunday, too, but they're going south. We're going north. Yeah, we're going like, you know. <laughs> <They're> splitting off. <laughs> they're, they're headed back to, I think, Colorado River. Colorado River, and we're going to. Rose, you're leaving the queue on Monday. <laughs> Where are you headed next, Rose? I think she's headed back to Missouri, if I believe that's what she said. Yeah. I believe so. She's got some stuff she's got to take care of back there. Yeah. Yeah. I know she's got to go to her storage and stuff. Yeah. 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 I get it. Oh, yay. Everybody's hanging out over here. Yes, hang out, hang out. <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> We so appreciate it. Yeah, we're both kind of peeking. It's all quiet over on that side. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Snowflake gets, what, it gets a lot of snow. and I don't know. I would ask my cousin Laura, but the, one, the girl never checks her messenger. She's still up in that area. She, yeah. she goes from Shiloh to Snowflake. So... Solo. Solo. Solo to Snowflake. Shiloh's in Tennessee. Yeah, Shiloh. Yeah, I've been to that battleground. We need to go back. That's right. So that's where we met is Shiloh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I loved it there. That we might get back, be, we get back there. I love the battlefield, how they have all the placards out. Yeah. And I was able to follow my third great grandpa's units where they had went. And... I don't think that was Shiloh, honey. That was Chickamauga. No, no, it was Shiloh. It was Shiloh because one of my great grandpas was one of the units that captured the remaining Union soldiers that didn't get the message to retreat uh, up to Shiloh uh, Hill yeah. or Mountain, whatever it was. But my mom's side was camped over here, and my dad's side was camped. Their camps were right next to each. How did no, it, it was your mom's side. Oh, it was two of my mom's sides. That's what it was. Two of my mom's sides. Oh, yeah. And it was highly possible they met there and the created our branch of the family tree. You know, oh, through friendship and, that, and then coming back was friends with the family and yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. That, 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 oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, we met on a uh, field trip. Yeah, our high school used to, we used to go. I went several years. I went the first year as my class, but then each year after that, the teacher would have us be a chaperone. <laughs> she was chaperoning so we, us, I you know. I went three, three or four times to show yeah. Hello, Randy was world. Welcome. 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 Glad to have you. Thanks for and, popping in. And yeah, we were, 
We went to Shiloh, Chickamauga, that other little one in Kentucky, Wildcat. Wildcat. Went to that one. We did that other little one too in Georgia, not too far from your mom. Went Chickamauga. No, that was a revolutionary. Yeah, but we still went there just to look. Hello, retired, retired old timers. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for popping on over here. We went to one of the battlefields in Missouri. But they, we didn't get the, they were the, it was closed. They didn't have anything that told you anything about it. Yeah. So, you know, the one really, in Georgia was, wasn't Civil War. It was revolutionary, but mm -hmm. it was still neat. And then we went to that state park where the Revolutionary War had been held too. Yeah. They had a plaque there. We went to a state park. Oh, not very far from his mom's. We went to the one Smokey and the Bandit did the famous kiss at, but we didn't know we were there. <laughs> didn't oh, know. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Kenneth Bird. Hey there, welcome. Thanks for being here. Snow seems to go around us here in Snowflake. Weather seems to be like Western Washington. Yeah. yeah. Well, that ain't a bad thing all the time. That's I what happens here at Quartzsite all the time. Yeah, you watch the rain, it hits everything around us. Yeah. He's sleeping. Yeah, for sure. Love it up in that area, Catherine. Yeah, it's beautiful up that way. Just right. don't like the cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Summers is okay, but when it starts to get cold. I forgot what day it was earlier this week. I don't know. Tuesday, Wednesday. We woke up. It was 39 degrees. 39 here. degrees. I thought I was going to go. It's like, what the heck? What happened? <laughs> no, Down no, it. no. <laughs> down, down in, in Lakeless Medina, we were running the air conditioner day and night. Yeah, it was hot down there. <laughs> but here's a little north, oh, I guess. Right. Three days, two days, yeah, three days now. Well, yesterday when I went into the rig after the live, I go in there and Moose is hiding under the couch because there's that little overhang. And usually when he starts going under stuff, he's trying to get cool. So we got to watch because he gets hot quick and starts getting sick on us. But Lulu looks at me, looks to the air conditioner, then looks back at me like, are you going to turn that thing on yet? I'm hot. Just kept looking back and forth, and I'm like, you got another hour. It wasn't even that hot in there yet. No. So I ended up giving in, turned the AC on for the dog, and then she laid down and was a good girl. Then I look over. And she's laying in front of the air conditioner. <laughs> Not yesterday. I didn't lay today. today. Yeah, but I had a blanket on. <laughs> yeah, nice. The dogs were hot. They're all, all the dogs curled up with her. But I had a blanket. Yeah. I got cold with that AC on. Yeah, I get cold with the AC too. I really do. Oh, Alberta. Ooh, Alberta. Ooh, no. no, no, no. You can keep that. Yeah. Negative nope, six. Nope, nope. Not that <laughs> negative stuff. <laughs> no. I don't like it. Sure. Low and concho are colder, more snow like Flagstaff. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize how much snow they get around Flagstaff and up there. Yeah. Ooh, they get a lot they of snow. They get a lot. <laughs> There's a ski <laughs> resort up there. It was like yeah. in June and it snowed or something. Wasn't that Flagstaff? We was there in June. And it yeah, was, yeah. Right? It snowed in June up there. <laughs> in the middle of the night, we got up and there was snow on the ground. Yeah. I mean, it was just a dusting. We were like, wait, it's June. <laughs> well, all righty. I think we're going to move on to uh, fun facts. Fun facts. Mm -hmm. All right. You got to play the little banner. I didn't pick I didn't pick the topic. <laughs> so, snakes are a reptile. They have been around for approximately 100 million years and evolved from prehistoric lizards. Snakes are found on every continent in the world except Antarctica. Oh, maybe we need to move to Antarctica. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why like there be a snake an uh, ice snake? Right, or come in a suitcase or something, you know. Uh, no kidding. It evolved, and now it can move around on the snow. Right. That'd be my luck. 
They just out. ain't found any there yet, because who's went and looked? I, I know what you have been looking for those. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Crazy, crazy. All right. There are around 3,000 different species of snake in the world. She must say snakes in the world. <laughs> in Australia, they have around 140 species of land snakes and around 32 species of sea snakes. Australia is home to the most diverse range of reptiles anywhere in the world, including some of the top 25 most venomous snakes. Okay, so I don't know that I want to go to Australia now. I'll come <laughs> into port, look at it, and say, okay, I've been there. Right. I, I didn't know there was so many different species of sea snakes. Yeah. I ain't swimming in the sea either, so we got that covered. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, we used to see yeah. them. I used to, when we lived in Okinawa, I used to go scuba diving all the time. And we would see sea, or sea snakes in, in the water there. But I thought there was only like one kind. I yeah, just the sea snake. <laughs> yeah, I know. We know freshwater snakes and river snakes, but, you know, lake yeah. snakes. Right, watermarks, and you know, <laughs> man, Woo, that's a lot of snakes right there. Check in the chat, Let's see if see anybody's them. chatting about the snakes. Our no. chat ain't moved, yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's quiet tonight. All right, let's see what else we can learn. Snakes do not hibernate, huh? But enter a state of reduced metabolic rate called brumation during colder weather periods. Many snakes, snakes <laughs> stop eating during winter and conserve energy by not moving around as much. On a warm, sunny day in the middle of winter, snakes may still come out and bask. <gasps> that's oh, a lot of, that's, I keep telling everybody that about rattlesnakes out here. They don't hibernate. No, they, just, they get real slow. You can walk up and kick them. And if they're real to, sluggish. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I ain't going up to no snake and kicking it. I ain't going up to no I'm running they the move, other way. Yeah, that's, they that's move like around that. like they've been to a Grateful Dead concert. Dang. Look. That's like it is in Quartzsite. Everything there wants to hurt you or kill you. Yeah, everything in Australia. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I know. Even the pretty purple flowers. Right? <laughs> right? I know. Right? Goodness, that's scary. Um. I, I know when you get in the outback, there's all kinds of stuff out there that want to kill you. Right. It's very deserty too. I think we saw this. Yeah, what Texas was, has five. We were somewhere and saw the five venomous snakes. I can't remember what it was. No. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Talking about the five different uh, species of snakes. Right, here. that are venomous. Uh, she, yeah, say that fast, right fast now. All right. Everybody say this five times really fast. Yeah. <laughs> she sells she sells sea snakes by the seashore. <laughs> I was doing good to get it out once. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I've been to Australia a couple of times. Yeah, he's been the, a couple of The Navy times. took me there. I had tickets to go, but no, the the Navy decided not to go there. So I had to switch. Yeah. I have not tired old retired tired retired old timers. I have not heard of snow snakes. No, well, neither have I. Have you heard of a snow snake? No, I just looked it up. According to Google, it says it's not real. Ah. <laughs> I don't care if it's a snake and it's a snake. I don't care what it's real or not. I'm out of there. I don't Maybe. do fakies or real ones, dead ones. I'm gone. Kind of snakes filled with snow. I know, right? You're gonna build it. Snow, snow man, snow snake. Right? Oh, here you go. Oh, there you go. Snow snakes are wooden poles that are carved and weighted to slide easily over snow and ice. Oh it's like yeah. well, I'm kind of disappointed because I was looking for another reason to hate snow even more. Right, <laughs> you know, as, as everything evolves, I'm really surprised that snakes ain't figured out how to evolve through the, the cold spells. Yeah, Other yeah. Than uh, they're smart. Yeah, we yeah. just we haven't evolved. No, smart bears are smarter, evolved. they go in and hibernate, they don't do nothing during winter. Have babies, the mamas have babies in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? 
snakes, like all reptiles, are ectothermous. They're ectotherm, sorry. <laughs> they rely on external sources like the sun to give them energy. They will move between basking in the sun and hiding in the shade to keep their bodies at their preferred temperature. Without warmth, snakes do not have enough energy to digest their food or move around. So let's just keep it cold all the time for them. <laughs> then they can't eat or move around. <laughs> well, well, I know we used to go to a, a festival that was over in the gorge in Washington. Oh, yeah. And, you know, they set up the stage there and they would talk about the sound from the, the music on the stage is so loud playing that it kind of like paralyzes the snakes. You'd see the snakes under there just kind of laying there. They wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't move or nothing from the music. Yep. But there'd be, there'd, there'd be like 50 of them under there. That rattlesnake roundup, that should be getting ready to go on in Texas. Yeah, we saw that thing. Some, we was, somewhere we saw the... Hey, no way I'd go to somewhere where there's thousands and thousands of something that wants to kill me. They keep them right. in a big <laughs> yeah, yeah, my there. Hey, She's checking on you, Earl, see she's, if you're doing it right. She's, she's checking All right, you can yeah. snake, Ivan. Mm -mm. Y'all have fun with that. I want a video of that. We, we haven't ran too many people off yet, Nettie. Yeah. We ain't messed up too much. No, too funny. Snake picking dance tomorrow night. Oh, Roy and Becky. <laughs> woof, woof. Everybody's invited. Nope. Becky be in the rig saying, have fun, y'all. You're the one who wants to go to a darn snake roundup. All right. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted to go. I'm just saying they have one. This yeah. should be coming up. You ain't oh, getting me fun. near one. I found that. Bite your tongue, Becky. Bite your tongue, Becky. Don't get them any. And there's uh, Catherine saying hello to Nettie, Mel and Nettie. Yeah. Too late for you to play innocent, Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. All right. All right, next. Snakes are mostly solitary animals. They do not live in family groups. They will come together during mating season, which in the southwest is October to December. So down See? yonder in Arizona, they have... See? See? They, don't, they don't hibernate October, December. They be doing the wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> Snake way. I don't know how that looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Snakes oh, yeah. are not Snake wave. <laughs> <laughs> right? Snakes are not aggressive. They are shy, secretive animals. Snakes do not bite out of malice, and they certainly do not go looking for enemies. They will defend their lives if when needed. Snakes do not like to be left. Snakes do like to be left alone. Well, they must not know a sidewinder. Yeah. yeah. Hamburgers come right at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if they're not aggressive. I still ain't getting around. I ain't getting near it. I don't <laughs> I ain't like it. around to find out whether it's aggressive or not. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see Roy doing a two-step to the right. It's well, still coming, all right? Two more steps. going to be no two-stepping. <laughs> Your long two legs would be two steps, and you'd be away be from it. be a sprint. I yeah. know, yeah, right? It'd be a run. You know. Diane saying hi to Megan. My other shirt. My other shirt is my birthday shirt. Yep. <laughs> <Too late for laughs> Roy tried to do that. Yeah, Roy showed up in his birthday suit. <laughs> Shirt. I shouldn't say suit. Shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, not birthday suit. It's birthday shirt. It was hot. I was busy yeah, working. Yeah. Uh, All righty. This thing one. Or is it no? no okay, snakes are not territorial. They do have a home range that they move around in depending on the seasons, but this range can overlap with other snakes and animals within their range they know where to find food water and shelter that's pretty smart i, think well, I guess that's like any animal any animals kind of hang out in their own territory right some migrate yeah i guess 
I've heard of that one, Thomas. <laughs> the black mamba. Yep. Yeah, oh, black mamba. Mamba right. number five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you say birthday? I started Susie? just enter my head. <laughs> yeah, that's my shirt. You got two shirts. <laughs> black mamba in Africa. Oh yeah. Yeah. Call bunk on this one. <laughs> Right? I know. You just, I don't know. I think sometimes they are more aggressive than we think. It was Roy's idea. It was Roy's idea. <laughs> They're putting the blame on Roy now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said shirt, but the rest goes along with it. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, he's blaming Rose now? I thought he blamed Roy. I know, right? <laughs> Tell that to everybody that's been bit by one of those stinking creatures. Right? Ugh. I don't want to play around with that. Mm -mm. All right. Well, right. I will tell you how afraid we are snakes because all we seen was a tell. We were about to evacuate the clam and we all had nobody on our life today. Oh, that lizard come in the clam yeah. this morning. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> lizard. We're both getting ready to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes have no external ears. They are mostly deaf to airborne sounds. They do have an inner ear like humans, which helps with balance. You can shout, but it simply won't scare a snake away. Dang it. <laughs> but they can feel you moving. That's what I say. Can't they feel the vibration? Yeah, though? they feel the vibration if you're stomping. Oh. In the road, we got there, and he didn't move till we got there. Why didn't he feel us coming on up there? I don't know. You're walking too soft. I don't know. Dang. <laughs> I'm gonna stomp next time. <laughs> Sweet doggies. All right, snakes do have bones. Despite being incredibly flexible, they are known as a vertebrate, animals with bones. A snake's backbone or spine is made up of many vertebrae attached to ribs. Adult humans have 24 ribs, a total of 206 bones. Snakes can have up to 33 ribs, a total of up to 1,200 bones. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of little bones. I don't want to find out. <laughs> you know, if you cook them, you can find out, you know. <laughs> they say it tastes like chicken. Supposedly. I know, right? I'd have to ask my cousin. He ate rattlesnake out here with my brother. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot, hot, hot. Roy was hot today. <laughs> my, my favorite one is a sewer snake. Sewer snake. <laughs> Use it and put it away. Stank it. <laughs> That's too cute. The nastiest snake on the planet. I know. I'm considering a new addition to my wardrobe. <laughs> Ellie Mays. <Mace>. <laughs> Too cute. Uh-oh. Big unspoken prayer. Yeah. Absolutely, Megan. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll send prayers out to you. For sure. Mm. Oh, Hopefully but, everything's okay. Look, butter and garlic go good on rattlesnake. I don't know I if mean, I would try it. Yes, you would. We tried gator. I tried gator. I, it wasn't bad. Well, uh, they don't tell me it's snake out I, I have. I have tried rattlesnake before. You have? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Dang, nasty. Years ago. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but I didn't put butter and garlic on it. Did it taste like chicken? Yeah. <laughs> yeah gator kind of did, too. Your texture kind of. Yeah, yeah. Our, daughter, our youngest daughter liked it, too, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, go with your daisy <laughs> days. <laughs> prayers. Ooh, yes. Right. Hello, crossover paranormal society. Welcome. Hey, welcome. welcome. Thanks for popping in. We appreciate everybody coming today. All right, let's see what's next. Snakes shed their skin. They do this a number of times a year, mostly in the warmer weather seasons. When they are eating more and growing, the process known as slot, slot, sliding, 
Slowing down. these words. I know, right? Can week. take several <laughs> weeks while a snake is in its shed cycle. It is very vulnerable and will tend to hide. Slowing, slowing. Maybe that's the part, the one you walk up and kick them. I don't want to find out. That stage. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, we were cleaning our flower bed out, and I, that snake skin in the backyard at the house in Indiana scared me, remember? Yeah, you ran from a snake skin. Yeah, I ran from a snake I skin. I was taking a picture of the snake skin. We was boondocking at the Walmart, you know, and I went to take a picture of the snake skin. Well, hello, a snake come crawling up. <laughs> I was like running for the hills. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I I don't even know what kind it was. I we didn't care. We don't even know. We're <laughs> running. <laughs> We're so bad. Snakes have smooth, dry skin that is covered with scales. These scales are made of keratin. That's the same substance that is in human hair and nails. A snake's scales are sensitive. Each individual scale has the same sensitivity as the end of your fingertip. Okay, wait, the tip or the nail? Now, how'd they figure that one out? They asked now, the snake. <laughs> Hello, can you feel this, Mr. Snake? <laughs> what does this feel yeah, like? How do they know it? Yeah, Let me poke in this snake. little scale. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Oh, I hope I don't like cast love. Yeah, cast thank love. you for coming in. Hey, cast yeah. love. She's got a good channel. Yeah, Okay. Kenny ain't in here right now. He's supposed to be in here later. He'll he had another function that he's at, and he said he was going to be late, but he should be <laughs> coming in here. Tired. Yeah. Yeah. Tired is funny. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they all need, they need all twelve hundred bones broken. <laughs> right? I wonder how you break your bones? Like slam on a wall or something? Everything tastes like chicken nowadays, except chicken. What's up with What's that? Up with that? Right. What's up with that? That is true. Right. <laughs> right. Welcome, yeah. Daisy Dukes brought shorts at Mace. Macy's. Mine are more homemade, like Ellie B. Clements. <laughs> <laughs> Too cute. All right, sending out prayers. Yes. Prayers. Hi, Chrissy Mama. Hey, Chrissy Mama. Thank you for being here. She must have popped over to another channel. Yeah. Rolling on the flow. Welcome back, Chrissy Mama. Yeah. You're all good, Cassie Love. Or Cass yeah. Love. We knew. Yeah, yeah Cass Love. We knew what you meant. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I shed my outer skin every night when I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hey there. Saying hi. Yeah. All right, I think we're caught up on chat. Let's see what's back. next. What Let's else can back. we learn? What else? Oh, hang on, let me go back. You gotta take off the banner. Oh, I hit the hit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now it'll work. All right, snakes do not have good eyesight. They can't hear and they can't see. <laughs> <laughs> they respond to movement, which scares them. Most snake species do not see in color. If you stand completely still in front of a snake. It can't tell the difference between you and a tree or a rock. That's what I'm saying. How do they know How that? How do they know that? They asked the snake. I thought they could <laughs> sense the heat off of your body. Right? I thought they could feel I, that. I thought then they kind of, I don't know if they smell, but don't something with their tongue, don't they? Yeah. yeah they're, uh, and they're sensing some uh, way with their tongue. I don't know. When that snake moved, he turned around and looked back at us after he got out the road. He knew we was there. Oh, I don't know. You were the one pushing me toward it, saying, get a picture, get a well, picture. Well, how did you get a picture of it? Because wouldn't nobody believe me? <laughs> Venomous snakes so, have yeah. special glands and teeth, fangs, designed to inject venom into their prey. Venom is a highly modified saliva. that It immobilizes prey and also aids in digestion by breaking down food. It is not designed to attack humans. Well, it does a good job at the attacking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. I don't want to find out what it feels like either. No, I don't want to no, know. No, no. I do not want to know. Yeah. Snakes do not have eyelids. They do have an eye spectacle, which protect their eye. This spectacle comes away 
when a snake sheds its skin. Yeah, I knew they didn't have eyelids. So they can they close their eyes or no? I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they actually. Close I don't want to look close enough to find out how they. Me <laughs> neither. I ain't paid no attention to them that much. About See if they close them. The only way I liked watching them when we were at the zoo, watching them, and it was yeah. cool. We were at the Fresno Zoo, and they were actually feeding them the mice. Why they was feeding them, <laughs> and it was in glass cages, so they weren't coming out. <laughs> Snakes have a very acute sense of smell and taste. They use their forked tongues to pick up scents, just like you use your nose. They are interested in the scent of prey, predators, a potential mate. Or a rival or their own trail. See, that's what I thought. I thought they used their tongue to pick up scents or smell or whatever. So when they smell me, what they thinking? <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Oh, Imagine if they had bad breath all the time. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, absolutely, Megan. We'll be praying for them. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And I don't like snakes of any kind, big or small. Absolutely. I'm gone with you. I don't even like garter snakes. Nope. I don't. At the zoo, it was cool because it was in the glass they were eating. But normally, we don't even go in that building. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amen. Thank you for that, Rose. Oh, awesome. Slowly getting closer with my channel. Oh, yay. That's so Ooh. good. I uh, you know the feeling. We're getting so close. We too. are so close. <laughs> really close. Yeah, we need everybody to watch the videos tonight. <laughs> then why don't they bite the dead gum rock or tree instead of people? Right? <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and bite the rock. Because you think it's me to bite it. <laughs> they gotta be able to scent somehow. Right. They gotta know it's like alive or dead or not you know, not food. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Snakes swallow their prey whole. They can eat a prey item up to 10 times bigger than the size of their head. That's like a human swallowing a whole pig. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Snakes are able to do this as their jaws are like are, are not, not fused by a bone like a human jaw. Instead, the top and bottom jaw are joined by stretchy muscles and ligaments. It's called a Joshua something. I forget what it's called. We learned about yeah, it. Like when we a whole pig. <laughs> I know. Roy, let me see you eat a whole pig. Let me see you eat on that. I'd love to be able to eat a whole pig. I love bacon. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's got to be cooked whole one, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. It had to, yeah, it had to have an apple in its mouth. Roast it first. <laughs> when they were feeding them snakes that day at the zoo. We were there. I'm telling you, they were some of them had some pretty big old rats. And yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah. Snakes are carnivores, meat eaters. Their diet mostly consists of small mammals. Snakes will eat mice, rats, rabbits, birds, possums, bats, lizards, skinks, geckos, and other snakes and frogs. Without snakes sharing our habitat, we would be overrun with vermin. <laughs> okay. Are you glad they're eating all that junk? No, they make mouse traps for that. We don't need snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Pythons, non venomous snakes, kill their prey by tightly wrapping around it, crushing and suffocating, a process called constriction. That's why they're called bulls. Yeah, we're skinks. Yeah. Supposed to be skunks. No, it's a skink. It's a, it's a skink. Yeah. It's a little ugly thing. I never heard of one. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of hmm. one. I've heard of them. Yeah. I, I think, think they're like, seen little, like mice, little they're yeah. mouse looking things or right? whatever. Oh, let me get caught up on chat here. Caught up on chat. Yeah. Uh, oh, just trying to reach 500 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Going green mom, she's back here. Oh, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah, no, Rose does not. Thomas Mayer, welcome, welcome. Reminds me of the Chuck Norris joke. Chuck as bitten by a king cobra, and after three days of excruciating pain, the snake finally died. 
<laughs> Ivan's like, skink? Skink? Yeah. No, I don't post that spot. Absolutely. She's one of the biggest supporters there are. Yeah. <laughs> but Ivan thought the same thing. No, it's it's a skink. It is. Oh, it's a yeah. It's almost looks like a lizard type thing. Yeah, it's a little lizard guy. Uh oh, Nettie's Nettie's checking on us again. Oh, hey! <laughs> I know, right? You know, I'm over here going. <laughs> yeah, what Green, Green Green Mom says. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's finish these off. Got a few more. All right, snakes can be venomous or non-venomous. There are over 700 species of venomous snake in the world. 33 of these species are in Australia, with four local to the southwest region, tiger snake, dugite, bark, bark <laughs> and crown <laughs> snake. There are around 40 python non-venomous snakes worldwide with 15 known species in Australia. For well, even more reason not to stop by Australia. Right? <laughs> they go bite you and poison you, it's gonna squeeze you to death. Wait. Oh, good night, Lee. Night, Lee, have a good night. Good night, Thanks Lee. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you for your ass. thank you. All right, pythons do not have fangs like venomous snakes. They have up to 80 small needle sharp recurved slope backwards teeth they have one two rows either side of the bottom and top jaw plus an extra two an extra two rows in the middle of the top jaw ouch that's a lot of teeth two rows on either side top and bottom plus yeah. an extra two rows in the middle of it oh my gosh I know. I need to see the inside of the mouth now or <laughs> <laughs> like uh, that's more and chances of having to think Right? They're going to have some toothaches. You're right. Yeah. And the last fun fact. The last fact. Pythons can make an excellent and interesting pet. Mm -mm. They, re <laughs> <Nope. laughs> they require little daily maintenance or cost and can live in captivity for up to 25 to 30 years. Lord have mercy, no. <laughs> 25 to 30 years. Nope. Nope. Crazy, crazy, That's crazy. too much time. No. That's too much time. That our son wanted one. We said no. The grandkids want one. They said no. The mama, mama said no. I told my kids, if I ever brought one in the house, I'd kill them because they were good. Art did. He did. <laughs> so, yeah. You have that picture of that skink? Yeah, I got a skink for y'all. Can I get it bigger? We can make it bigger. There you go. He's the blue tongue skink. It says they're in Georgia. I mean, in Georgia, I googled yeah. it. Looks just like a little lizard, lizard thing. type thing. I think right. we've seen it when we was at the zoo in Fresno. That's why I think that's where we saw it. <laughs> Captain Jack hates skinks. I think I put that one. Yeah. And he says no, no snakes, not favorite subject. I know, right? No, no, no. <laughs> she knows it. Ain't. That. Yeah, but that's why she picked and this I, today. You know, I said good night, Lee. Thanks for popping She knew in. I was going to see her read that stuff. Just saw something on Jeopardy a little bit ago that made me the puke. Huge disgrace to. Uh, oh. Yeah. I haven't watched Jeopardy in forever. Forever, I know. We don't watch any live TV, really. <laughs> Everybody saying bye to Lee. Yeah. Is. Broad I know, is it spotted? I have never heard of one of them. <laughs> I, I was hard for me to say, sorry. There you go, makes great boots. I'm Googling it. The picture yeah. I'm seeing, it, the bar, bar, whatever the hell, heck his name is, it's Snake. He ain't spotted, but I think they're from Australia. Yeah, it said they were. It did say they were from Australia. Well, right. not only Australia. Snake, Snake. I know they got a lot of stuff in the ocean. He's pretty <laughs> ugly. Thanks, Terry. Ivan said. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think, I think Nettie did it. Um, going green mom. She did it at me on purpose because she knows I don't like snakes. She knows Terry hates snakes. I don't like snakes. She did it. She's like, oh, I'm going to give this to Terry. <laughs> I had a pet boa. Oh. 13 years. No, 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 no. no. Ooh, I can't even look at him. His tongue's sticking out. I had to change it. 
Googles. Oh, it's a brown poisonous snake. Yeah, I looked on it just now too. Is that that uh -uh. one? The, that the one. Bardic? Is he poisonous? I don't know. Is he poisonous? That? Oh yeah, highly venomous. Highly venomous. I don't want to. We caught play around and find out. Not happening. Nope. He's not eternal too. So he's walking around at night. <laughs> YouTube is better TV. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, there you go, going green, Mom. That's why. Because Terry hates snakes. <laughs> see? See? Daddy put it up there. See? I told you. She said, I'm going to get her back. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Can't fit by a fly. is reference to a British treat. Yes. You can thank I know. Mark. I haven't seen Mark. Yeah, he ain't here, here tonight. Today. No, he ain't popped in yet. He's still sleeping, maybe. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to take me a nap. And not nice, Nettie. Yeah. <laughs> he said hi, Nettie. Go ahead and put yeah. the back up here. Yeah, if y'all want to come on over to see us and help us with our watch hours, we appreciate on it. <laughs> so good, so good. Everybody's having a good evening, I suppose. Yep. I hear, like, voices outside. <laughs> We got neighbors though. We got some you? neighbors staying in this cabin behind us. We got two cabins. They staying in these two cabins behind us. Love you too, Nettie. Yeah, love <laughs> you. Thank you for making me read all that. <laughs> Give me the eebie jeebies tonight when I'm sleeping. Ooh. Mm. Well, shall we move on to the next? Trivia? Y'all want to do some trivia now? I know Ivan does. <laughs> Ivan loves trivia. Have yeah. a great night, TVI retired old timers. Yep, have a good one. For the song for it. Are you Leave leaving us? For, for a bit. bit. <laughs> All right, try to come back All in right, if you yep. can. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right, is there a banner for I got to take the banner down. You got to play something? Yes, ma'am. Getting there. He's so good at this, I'd be lost. No, I'm, 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 I'm learning. Yeah. Trivia. Here we go. All right. Hello. Trivia. The Toys That Built America. In which Nintendo game did the iconic character Mario first appear? Oh, oh, A, Donkey is. Kong. B, Super Mario Brothers. C, Radar Scope. A. A, <laughs> A Donkey Kong. They say... Trivia, bring it on. See, yeah, see, I knew I even loved trivia. We got an A. Going Green Mom says B. Ivan says B. I say A. Tim says A. I agree. I think it's A. And... The answer is Hey, Donkey Kong. <laughs> this is a great I... series on History Channel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we had something before that had something that said Donkey Kong was an answer. Oh no, you read the day. Don't tell me the answers in the All right. What inspired toy inventor Eddie Gar Goldfarb? to create the Yakety Yak Teeth Toy in 1949. He saw dentures at his dentist office and thought they were funny. He saw a newspaper ad for a denture case called Tooth Garage, and it made him laugh. Or C, he was watching a morning cartoon that featured a pair of walking teeth. Hmm. I think C. I'm going to say C. I think it's A. You think it's A? 
I don't know. I don't, I'm not even sure I know what yakety yak teeth is. Uh, you know, krrr, you wind them up. And then, nee, 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 nee. I, going Green Mom says Roy has an unfair advantage. I know because he watches that TV show all the time. <laughs> I know. This one watching. was on there, but I, I don't, I, I'm not no, for sure. I think it's A. I don't know. She's I don't know. either. I'm yeah. Not, yeah, I, I, you wind them up and they. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's the yak. Uh, I'd have to go with a. And no, even though I've been given the answers, I have not read all of them. I do not know. <laughs> I'm gonna guess a. Uh, Tim's guessing B. T. Those little things. Oh, okay. Rose is saying B. Nope, nobody. You can buy them for three dollars and seventy-four cents. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is. What is the answer? Oh, B. B. Hey, somebody got B. it right. He saw a newspaper ad for a denture case called Tooth Garage, and it made him laugh. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With the key. Oh, with the key wind up. All right. Next one. What did Xavier Roberts, the inventor of Cabbage Patch Kids dolls, originally name this quintessential toy collection? A garbage pail kids. Oh, no, B, American B. Girl Dolls. We know it ain't B. Or C, Little People Dolls. It's going to be A. I'm thinking A. Because little people are those little things that go with those little houses, right? You know the little houses you used to get? I think so. What are other people thinking? C. Your going green mom says C. See, I thought C, C. was those people that was... What would you say, Roy? C. He stole it C. from a lady. Ah. Uh, Real Robert Rockwell says C. Rose says C. Catherine says A. Ivan says A. Yes. <laughs> and the answer is C. Little oh, people dolls. Little people dolls. Little people dolls. Yeah. yeah. He was at a at a swap meet, and this lady was selling cabbage patch dolls. She designed; they weren't called that though. She she designed; she made them, and he stole the idea from her and ran with it. Dang! <laughs> yeah, she, 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 finally, she finally sued, and I think got got well compensated for it. Yeah. Oh, Ivan didn't say a. He said a a a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Garbage Pill Kids was just a, 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 a knockoff that another company made. Yeah, they came uh, after Cabbage and Patch. And I think they only had cards. They had a movie. Yeah. Move. Yeah. Didn't Garbage Pills come after Cabbage Patch? I don't know what Garbage Pills is. I don't know that I've ever heard of Garbage Pills. I think <laughs> they were just in cards and they came with a stick of gum. Like oh. baseball. Huh. And then they, of course, they had a movie and a cartoon later. I think they were some of them were gross. They were Cabbage Patch Kids, just the bad side. Looked like they had been through a landfill. Yeah. Oh, oh I see. Somebody said they're for boys. Garbage pails was for boys. Oh. Huh. Didn't even know. I know. I almost got up beat up looking at one at the store, though. <laughs> I just wanted to look at it, boys. I wasn't buying it. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Which wildly wildly popular 80s toy had its own show created about the adventures of finding crystals with powers? A, Teddy Ruxpin. B, My Little Pony. C, Glow Worm. I think it's got to be B, My Little Pony. I think it's B. I think we got to guess on this one because My Little Pony, and I don't ever remember seeing My Little Pony on the show. So. They had cartoons. I know they had I seen the My Little Pony cartoon. That. Yeah. I've never seen a glowworm cartoon or show. Yeah, I don't Teddy, remember a glowworm show. Me neither. Teddy Ruxman, he can <laughs> talk, right? 
Captain had to take his garbage pail out every day and empty it in the compost pile. Right. <laughs> All right, Robert says A. A. Kim says B. B. Going Green Mom says B, I think, were glow worms on shows. I don't remember them on show. I don't remember seeing them on a show no more. Yeah. Either. Catherine, Catherine says, says B. B. <clears throat> Let's see who's right. I'm not sure. Any others? Nobody else? Oh. No, that's it. And the answer is what? Hey, what? <laughs> Texas. Uh, Texas. I've been at a show. <laughs> I remember having a show. I know my niece had him. Show. I don't remember him having a show either. <laughs> I thought he wow. just read books to you. Right, out of his little, you know, <laughs> you put a little tape Take in his book. Yeah, you put a cassette in his butt and he'd read it. <laughs> yeah. He probably yeah. did because he was on that show. They did do, do the, a segment on Teddy Ruxin, and we probably forgot that he had a show. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know. He was creepy. I didn't like that. I just watched it. No, I just said B. <laughs> never heard. Yeah, I've never heard of it either. I know. Next one. Oh, gosh. Shigeru Miyamoto. Creator of the Donkey Kong video game, originally wanted to make a video game out of which classic TV series? A. Gilligan's Island. B. Bewitched. C. Popeye. We watched that. Uh, I remember what it was. I'm going with C. I'm yeah, gonna, Popeye sounds fun. I'm going to go with A. You're going to go with A? I'm going to go with C. Only for the simple fact. What I was thinking was A. I don't remember. I can't remember. I remember them talking about it, though. Well, Donkey Kong's kind of like, you know, kind of jungly like or ape. I don't know. Gilligan, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing A. So Captain Jack, 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 low, low little glow worm, shimmer, shimmer. Going Green Mom says C. Ivan says A. No, he's A. Is that A or A? a. <laughs> and Robert says A. Captain still thinks it's Burrow Kong. Naj says A. Or no, Naj says C. Mm -hmm. And the answer is C. All right. See, Popeye. I don't remember that. Popeye was like one of my favorite cartoons growing up. That's why you oh, ate your spinach. Yeah. The only reason I, I ate spinach. Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat spinach, but I like watching him. No, I don't eat. I don't eat spinach, but I like Popeye. <laughs> I didn't eat green food for a long time. <laughs> my dad kept telling me, "Grow, eat your spinach, you grow up like Popeye." Boy, I ate the crap out of that spinach, and Dad lied to me. Yeah, you were funny thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What game was the precursor to Monopoly? You know A, the Lord's game. B, Capitalist. C, the Buying Board. I have never heard of any of these games. We have. Oh, uh, yeah. Same thing happened with this as the Cabbage Patch dolls. It was invented by a lady. And mm -hmm. she wanted it that name, but oh, who owns Monopoly? The, the gaming company owns Monopoly stole her idea yeah. and she pretty much uh, compensated yeah i'm going with a a little t yep a sounds like a yeah oh yeah hello lily welcome welcome ivan i watch popeye and taste spinach but prefer popeye's chicken <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> i prefer popeye's Ooh. chicken too uh oh we had this question before I no, so. I don't think so. Uh, Catherine says A. She devil. Hey, she devil adventures. Welcome, welcome. Captain well, Jack was probably in our live stream when we were just talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Hasbro. Is it Hasbro? I don't think Hasbro owns that, does it? Was Hasbro. It? Uh, somebody owns Hasbro now. Mattel. Mattel. Oh. Okay. Robert says A. Ivan says B. 
Pizza Pockets going green, Mom. All right. And Moose agrees. Hello, right, Lily. Right. And the puppies. People saying hello. Hey, Desert Adventures in Arizona. Olive oil. Olive oil was too skinny for my test. <laughs> Naj says A. Hey, Steve. Welcome. Welcome. Desert Adventure says C. She Devil says C. Lily says A. And I'm with She Devil. I've never heard of any of those games. And the answer is. Hey, the landlord's game. That is a very rare game if you come across it because part of her lawsuit, they had to print her original version of the landlord's game, but it never sold, so then they quit printing it. They had to print so many copies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I've never heard of any of them. Wow. Yeah, she never made a dime off of it. Dang. What is Barbie's full name? I don't know. <laughs> hey. I don't know if she had a full name. <laughs> I don't either. A, Barbara Ruth Handler. <laughs> B, Barbara M Melissant Roberts. Or C, Barbie Lily Handler. It's a lot of handlers. Oh, a. I think it's C. I think it's A. I think it's Lily or Ruth Handler. Got huh? A and a C. I, I, would, I don't know. I want to lean towards C. Okay. What's your answer? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't never heard of all this. I didn't know Barbie had a full name. I just thought it was Barbie. I don't I knew even know. I've only I've never heard it. Going Green Mom says B. Lily says C. Dad Gummit. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Robert says B. Ivan says C. Yeah, she devil didn't know she had a middle name. Catherine don't care. Yeah. <laughs> right. Steve has no flipping idea. Right. <laughs> we only had one girl played with Barbies. Yeah. Oh. Uh, um, I personally never, show, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't have no little Barbies. <laughs> I'm sticking with A. And Naj is saying C. And the answer is B. B. Barbara. I have one going to pick two. Uh -huh. <laughs> Melissa Roberts. Crazy, crazy. How did the Frisbee get its name? Oh. Gosh, Nettie put books in here. Hey, <laughs> the original inventor's nickname was Frisbee, which was, a, was based on a schoolyard game. B, it was named after people throwing empty pie tins at the Frisbee Pie Company. <laughs> or C, it was named after a plate shop called Frisbee, which inspired the shape of the toy. B. B. I'm going to go with C. C sounds, I don't know, it's a guess. That was on the show. Yeah, ouch. Oh, was so it Roy on? said B, I'm going B. <laughs> I'm going B. I barely remember some of this stuff. So, uh, Robert says B. Lily says C. I've seen a lot of these episodes multiple times. Huh. Going Green Mom says A. She Devil says B. And Catherine says B. Ivan says B. And the answer is B. B. It was named after people throwing empty pie tins. Uh oh. oh I must have accidentally hit that. I hit the wrong button. Oh. The first plastic product out of the Lego company based in Denmark was called the automatic binding brick. Why did a Danish company give the toy an English name? A, it was easier to market it internationally. 
B, Lego's creator, Ole Kirk Christensen, was originally born in England, and it was an ode to his birthplace. Or C, it was homage to the Allied forces that liberated Denmark and put an end to World War II. I don't remember. I don't remember this one. I have no clue. I don't I'm know. going with A. I'm going with C. I'm going to C. When, when, when in doubt, Charlie out. <laughs> when in doubt, Charlie out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't right. pay attention. All I know is them little boogers hurt when you stepped on them barefooted. They do hurt when you step on them. Yes. Lily says A. Going Green Mom says C. Steve oh. says C. She Devil says B. Captain says Lego my ego. Right. <laughs> mm. Lily says C. Ivan says A, and Tim says C, question, question mark. mark, and Naj says C. C. Wide variety of answers. Yeah, it is. I must have got up and made a sandwich during this part of the show. Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> it was C, See, though. See there? Right. No doubt, Charlie out. Yeah. <laughs> Homage to the Allied forces that liberated Denmark. Huh. Nice. How to get called a Lego? Yeah, <laughs> I give up. I don't know. Oh, which company created the famous Hot Wheels toy? A Matchbox, B Mattel, or C Tonka? And which company owns them both now? Yeah, right. <laughs> B. B. Yeah. I'm saying B. A B. Mattel. Yeah, I was thinking B Mattel. Right. Matchbox is a different car, though, ain't it? Yeah. That was the one. first one before Hot Wheels, and it was a tractor. It was the very first from a diecast maker. So we have a friend who has an entire his child's bedroom. His entire is filled with freaking Hot Wheels. He goes around and Matchbox. He buys them. Yeah, I would too. I love Hot Wheels. He's yeah. got them all in that room. Going green, mom. I want to know the connection between Legos and waffles. Yeah. <laughs> the Legos and Egos. Yeah. yeah. It rhymes. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Agree. Let go of my ego. Robert <laughs> says none of the above. None of the above. Come here. Come on. Lily know, T. It's going to work, though. So I got to help you. My sister, twin sister's AA meeting tomorrow morning. At 11 a.m. Mm. Going Green Mom says B. Robert says B. B. Looks like you got a lot of B's. B's. Catherine says A. Naj says A. Another B from Captain. And the answer is. What's the answer? B. B. Mattel. 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 The yeah. reason we have Hot Wheels is because of Barbie. Oh, what? Yep, that's the exact reason why we have Hot Wheels because it was Mattel was owned by a married couple, and the wife invented Barbie, and she kept teasing her husband that he hadn't invented the next big toy, and that's he. His their kids were playing with Matchbox and Matchboxes. They didn't roll very far in that. They were junk, and so he thought he could make a better car, and that's how Hot Wheels come along. Wow, awesome! Although Mattel released dolls like Christy and Francie as friends of Barbie as early as the 1960s, what year did the first official black Barbie come out? 1964, 1968. Or 1980. I'm gonna say 1980. I'm gonna say I don't remember, but see. Well, there wasn't none when I was little. But I remember, I don't know. I had a skipper doll. Rose says B. Got a C. A C. A C. C. It looks like a majority of C. Yeah. 
Most people are saying C. Lily says Steve. The answer is C, 1980. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. yeah. What was the toy car company Matchbox created? A, the original. Why was it? Or why was the toy? Uh oh. Roy, did you give this one away? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, why was it created? <laughs> yeah. A, the original prototype was designed using a box of matches. B, the original cars used red phosphorus in the wheels to create sparks for extra excitement. <laughs> C, one of, one of the founder's kids had a rule at school against bringing in toys unless they can fit inside a matchbox. I'm going hmm. with C. See. Pretty good. Well, B because sound. I have my, you know, I gave it to my son now, but I have my grandfather's tiny, tiny little metal car with little metal wheels on it. And it probably could fit in a matchbox. Remember how tiny that was? I gave it to our son car collection, so I gave it to him. <laughs> I collect so Hot Wheels matchbox, Leslie and Corgi still. Oh, yeah. Love it. I got nowhere to keep my collection. Got a B. A. A. C. And another C. 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 A. We got a little. We got a little bit of everything. No, no Bs. Nobody thinks C. that there was some sparks was on the wheels. There. Was oh, was there, there a B? Yeah, there some was a B. Sparks on them wheels. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. If it's that. That's I'm funny. Gonna, what are you gonna settle with? I'm gonna go with A. Go with I don't a. know. I'm guessing. All right. I'm sticking with C. B. Is it B? C. C. Oh, no. C. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's C. Because I'm gonna tell you, my grandfather had that little tiny metal one, and I think that it could fit in a a, a matchbox. Crazy. It was so tiny. All right, just a few more questions here. Who or what inspired the name of the action figure G.I. Joe? Feels like we've had this before. A, the 1945 film, The Story of G.I. Joe. B, Joseph Jacob Foss, a U.S. Marine Corps major. Or C, Stanley Weston, the creator of the G.I. Joe toy line, named the action figure after a comrade he met during his time in the U.S. Army. Oh, I like C. I don't know why B. I, 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 I can't remember, and that one was repeated a lot. I think it's C, but I can't remember for sure. I got B in my head for some reason, but probably uh, B, C. B, is in, B is in mine too. I don't know why. Yeah, name, I'm saying B. Joseph Jacob Foss or Jacob Joseph? Yeah, I said it right. Yeah, because they probably <laughs> called him Joe, and he's a Marine, so they probably called him Yeah, Joe. G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah. I can see I think, that. I, I think it's B. I'm going to go with B. B. C. B. B. Oh. And the answer is. A. Is it going to be A? Oh, it is A. What? Yeah, it came to me right at the end, right before you switched it. I, I, I remember it was A. There's uh, a yeah, movie? So I didn't know there was a film called G.I. Yeah, well, I didn't know there was a movie called that. Another G.I. Was it G.I. Jane? Yeah, G.I. Jane, but that came out way later. Yeah, that was yeah, the that was Demi Moore. Yeah. Huh. I did not know that. I have no clue. Mm -hmm. What year did the... Wham what year did the Whammo begin? I remember that one. The company Whammo. Whammo began manufacturing polyethylene hoops, which sparked the hula hoop frenzy. That's early, like 50s. 1926, 1958, or 1964. I'm thinking 50. I'm going to go with B. I'm going with yeah, B. I, uh, I don't think it was 26. No, I think it was B. You think it was your year's one? <laughs> I don't even think they had plastic in 26, did they? I don't no. know. I want more than that. You got a C, B, B. 
I'm gonna go with B. Mm. I don't know. B. Just settle. There's a C. We got a split There's down the middle. B. We got a split. Yeah, it's a split. Either B or C. B or C. Let's see what it is. Another B just popped up. And another B. All right. Mm -hmm. Answer is, is B. B. 1958. Nine in the 50s. And the last. Here's our last question. question. Why didn't early American board games use dice? Ooh. A. Dice were associated with gambling, which was considered mm -hmm. sinful. I can see that one. Mm -hmm. e. Dice did not originate in the U.S., and many manufacturers thought it went against nationalist ideas. C. Dice were thought to be harmful to young children who could potentially swallow them. No, I think it's A. I'm going to go with A. I'm worried about what kids were swallowing. Nobody really worried about that. I don't think. I'm going with A. B, A, C. Oh, we got a lot of A, 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 and then Ivan's A, A, <laughs> A, A. <laughs> and then. No, it's just L O L. L A, because we keep telling them to say A. 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 What do you think it is? A. We had friends from Canada that said Canadians never said A. Yeah. <laughs> they say it all the time though. They just don't know it. And the answer is A. <laughs> A. 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 <laughs> Dice were so good with gambling. Yeah, because they didn't care about kids choking on nothing. That wasn't a thing. No. Yeah, I kids didn't play. <laughs> Kids didn't play get board games back then. It was mainly adult games. Yeah, and kids yeah. played outside all the time. But I had Chinese, you know, Chinese check with the little marbles, and I never put them in my mouth. I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, I don't know. I think we were smarter kids than these kids. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Uh, Can't believe how quick time's going. That's already 8. I'm going on 8.30. I know. We're having fun now. And we, we hadn't even gone through half of the stuff. I know, but we'll get there. That's a what, 10. Going green, Mom. I didn't say y'all till I moved out of the South, according to my mom. What? <laughs> I've always said that, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've said y'all as long as I can remember. And I've always said it, so. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know I'm saying something different until somebody tells me I am. I always say I'm fixing to go to the store, and so somebody made fun of me for saying that, and I was like, well, what do you say? <laughs> we'll be right back here in a minute. All right. All right. Terry nailed it. We say it so often that we don't notice it. Some Canadians think that they are above admitting. <laughs> right? I know. It's kind of like Southerners. We don't it's kind of like us. We, we don't say y'all. We don't say y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we say it all the time. <laughs> Cute. My phone knows I'm going to say it. If I put a Y in my phone, it puts a y'all as a choice. <laughs> uh, your parents were Yankees. Uh, well, I was going to move on to the next segment. we got to have Roy here. Yeah. We're that far. <laughs> yeah. Lois well, we been having a good day today. We got. I had to work all day. That's what I did. I worked. <laughs> What'd you do all day? You worked on videos, didn't you? Videos, videos. Got our videos ready. I hope everybody got to watch our one today. We put one out. It's for our 22Q. Had to do the 22Q this morning that got out. Yeah, put that out. And then we got to get um, ours ready for Sunday. And I got yeah, to get Sundays ready because we're going to be gone all day because LBJ Library is a two-hour drive each way. Each way to get there. And we're going to check it out, walk around it. Terry, are y'all going to the store this evening this evening no 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 <laughs> we're not going we went to the store early we did we go did to go to the store. store i like the way you put that though y'all going to the store this evening <laughs> what was that brookshire we went to brookshire things is expensive at the store people's wanting seven dollars for a loaf of bread how I, are you gonna pay seven dollars for a loaf of bread 
I don't know. I'm gonna save that because that's my what's up with that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. I couldn't believe it. I think kids choking because of Battlestar Galactica toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was how we wound up back here, but since they didn't say y'all, I didn't really hear it. Oh. Know what you mean? <laughs> Evening is any time after 11 a.m. <laughs> yeah, right? I know, you know. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, this is a fight we have all the time about food, okay? So I never grew up calling lunch, lunch. We always called it dinner. We're going to have, you know, we're going to have dinner. And at night, we called it supper. Well, he's grown up always calling it lunch. So I'll sometimes say, what do you want for dinner? And he goes, I don't know. It's a long time till dinner. <laughs> It gives me a it's, hard time because I just say it automatic. No, it's breakfast, lunch, dinner. No, it's breakfast, supper. It's breakfast, supper, dinner. We have a, it's like supper. All right, who calls lunch I mean, lunch or I who mean, calls lunch dinner? Dinner. What do y'all call it? Anybody call it din dinner instead of lunch? I never heard of the word lunch. Yeah, I agree. We call it lunch. <laughs> Isn't my mom called it lunch? Yeah, I call it. See, we I've always, always call called it, it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we call yeah. it dinner and supper. Or, you know, sometimes it was supper, but I never called lunchtime dinner. Yeah, we always called it dinner. So I don't know. Kinder eggs with toys are different here because of the choking hazard thing. So Europe and apparently. European. European apparently teach their kids not to put stuff in their mouth. Yeah, because. You know, you have to put these warnings on there. You know, it's a choke hazard. And when you go, like, when my kids were little, you go to McDonald's, and they would like, do you want a toy for a three and under? I go, no, my kid wants a regular toy. They ain't stupid to put it in their mouth. I'll pop them if they put it in their so mouth. We called it lunch. Tim, <laughs> called, it, Tim called it dinner. And see, dinner and supper. supper. Yeah, lunch is dinner and supper is supper. And yeah. so does Ivan. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. there you go. Lunch and supper. Yeah. <laughs> Captain calls it Vittles. Vittles. They, they are Vittles. You can have Vittles anytime, you know. Going down that fast. Breakfast, lunch, supper, and dinner. Hey, if we get knocked uh, off, we'll be right back. All Not right. Long. This farmer's landed about 2 p.m. Mm, after milking and then chores, yeah. Oh, Med Nettie's back in here. Supper, supper is, is dinner. dinner. <laughs> exactly. Breakfast, no! lunch, and dinner. We just had supper and dinner. What's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> no, because you gotta have like you know. Speaking with, what's up with that? Hey. I think it's time. It's time. Then I'll go off again. Well, I know Roy's got one. He's been saving all week. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> All right, I was waiting to see if Roy came back, but we'll go ahead and go first because ours is boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had to uh, sit and think on it today. I, remember, if everybody was in here last week, you remember ours was uh, we did all that video footage with Steve and uh, over at the Ironwood uh, National Monument. And, of course, we lost that. I'm pretty sure I accidentally deleted that. That was my fault. Yeah. Um. But this week, as we drove down here on Sunday, 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 everybody, a lot of you were in the live with Terry. Yeah. Well, and we drove down the road. We drove from yeah, Lakeless Medina to here. Looking at all the train, the train, you know. And <laughs> somehow or another, now that entire live got deleted. I think I deleted on it. I think I did. <laughs> so, what's up with that? Why do we keep deleting okay. all our footage? <laughs> We're not going to get our hours if we keep deleting our footage. I know. I don't know what I did, though. So, I just was like, I don't know. I messed up on my phone. It's on my phone. Yeah. So I don't know. She she deleted it. 
it was there that night because I put a thumbnail on it. And, and then it disappeared. The next day it was gone. And I was going to go to Roy next, but they're completely gone. They left the world. <laughs> I think he might have some issues. He did say that they, they might, might disappear. Anybody got any what's up with that they want to share in chat? I'll go up here and catch up with the there. Lily said hi to Nettie. Yeah. Mama Nettie. We bombed them at noon, comrades. They think it's lunch. <laughs> the sirens go off every. I know they did noon. go off every day at noon in our town, even in Memphis. No, we used, we used to have them go off on Saturdays. Saturdays. It was Saturdays at noon. Those, yeah. The sirens were the tornado sirens, and they tested yeah, them every test Saturday. Them every Saturday at noon. That's right. Right. Rose this. says, uh "Oh, they right. might be coming back. They're coming back. Oh, they're coming back. We made it. I had to start the generator." What? Oh, man. Yeah, we've what? had some hazy clouds to the yeah. south pole, kind of interfering with it. Plus, they're flat. Yeah. It got down a little too low for my liking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. But... Hey, Ringo, yeah. Zar, but we're doing what's up with that. I heard that before everything went. What? What's we're up with that? All right. I was just getting caught up here. Sirens go off at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Oh, wow. Back back home, dinner was the main meal of the day, but it was at midday. Supper was in the evening, and you could go get sent to bed without it. Yep. Yeah, I went to bed <laughs> yep. many a night with no dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, Cast Law. Hey there, yeah. We did that today. People saying hi, hi, hi. People laughing. Up against the rig. That's vibrating real loud. Howdy, howdy. It's supposed to be cloudy the next two days. Ain't on Sunday. Hey, Ringo and Zara. Welcome, welcome. Glad welcome. to have you here. Yeah, glad you're here. Shouting. Burn the generator. Chases the clouds <laughs> away. Hi, hi, and I think we're there. And hi, Stephen Oki from the team. Yes, very well, good. Roy still ain't there for his. What's up with that? What's up with that? I know. He's trying to figure <laughs> out what's vibrating. Yeah, he I put up. It. Nope. I'm... Sounds like it's up here. Something in the hitch. Something in the hitch. All right, yeah. wait for you to come back to do your what's up with that. Oh, my what's up with that? I've been holding this for two weeks now. Oh, I know you have been. There you go. <laughs> So I picked my my, 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 my my phone up, and I'm looking at it the other day, two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it had told me I had visited four hotels. Four. Four of them. And then asked me to rate you know, each one of them and that. And it got me thinking, how many divorces has Google caused over the years by accusing somebody of being at hotels when you have never been, haven't been to one? It was the day right. they picked me up what's from up the airport, that? remember? Yeah, what, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> what the I mean, had I not had a trusting wife, she'd have thought I'd have been at four hotels. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Hotel, hotels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe think, you know, how many divorces has Google caused because of that? <laughs> right, that's ridiculous. Wonder if you drove by them or something. I don't know. It had to be because we went by them, but we didn't go to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy, I don't know. crazy, that is crazy. Well. Well, by default. <laughs> I I think y'all missed mine. Mine was just, we had another round of deleted videos. Yeah. <laughs> that live we did driving them up here. Somebody deleted it. Somebody deleted it. <laughs> I deleted it. Yeah, man. So, so I think I was the one that deleted Ironwood. So yeah. It's what happened. Here's those teeth, though. Those yakety teeth. Yakety yak. 
<laughs> yes, 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 yes. With the little key in them that you had to turn. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's going on. Is chat busy? Thank goodness. Oh, we're never tired of your humor, Jack. No, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is he really messing with the generator or trying to remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, I know he had one. He's a, He's been waiting all week long. Oh, he remembered. Put that one out. We we could have come up with another one, and we went that grocery. So it said ten dollar loaf of bread. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Seven dollar loaf, loaf of bread. bread. They had a half a gallon of ice cream that was ten dollars. Yeah. I'm like, uh, no. Just because like the Grand Canyon area. Like it because it's Oh, it's crazy, crazy. I don't know. We didn't. We got the bear just to get us through. Oh, we get to the cheaper store. Yeah. And I'm way behind on the chat. Get on it. Get on it. Maybe Roy is sleepwalking. sleepwalking. <laughs> oh, they're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I think you'd be smart enough to check your bank record. Yeah. <laughs> Roy, good. What's up with that? Hey, Misha Lee, welcome. Hey, welcome. 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 Glad to have you. Glad to have you here. Google gets paid for your survey answers. They don't care about your personal life. At yeah, no motel. No motel, motel. Motel, motel. <laughs> hey, hey, Misha. Misha. Hey. Everybody saying hi. What is this one? Ivan, when I was in Blaine lake i walked past the bar on my way to the library and every day google would ask me to rate the bar i'm sure google has been labeled as broke alcoholic <laughs> what's up with that <laughs> it better didn't ask you to rate the library where you went to did it <laughs> hey everybody saying hi there's moon over miami Yay. welcome welcome so glad you're here Lots of laugh. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Hello. I think I'm almost to the bottom. Butter pecan. That's what he wanted. He wanted some butter pecan. Was it filled with gold or something? I know. Yeah, it should have been. It was just some fancy bread brands, I think, or something. I was like, what? who buys that? I bought the $2 bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't care. The one I usually buy that I like to buy was four dollars, but I wasn't buying that for four dollars. Just bread. I gave two fifty yesterday for a loaf of bread. Yeah, we did two dollars. Well, I know today. you were saying you finally found some. There was they didn't have none. Yeah, that was that coyote. Coyote or Roadrunner? Roadrunner. It was that right? Roadrunner, and none of the other stores had bread. Yeah, our kids to eat that gluten free bread. I know it's pricey, and they go through a lot of it because they got four kids. <laughs> that ain't right for the the stuff people need should not be higher. <laughs> if it's gluten free, ain't it got less stuff in it? I know, right? They took the glutens out. <laughs> that's a what's up with that? Yeah, that's a what's up with that. Well, well, yeah. this guy back here turns pink. So y'all can see it. Oh, if I can see it, that'll be pretty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thanks, you better. Oh well. I was surprised with you going a dark beard there. Yeah, see, they didn't ask you about that library where you actually went. Is it still daylight there? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. We're a little okay, bit look. longer. Oh wait, you're, you're, you're not seven o'clock yet. Um, or no, yeah, yeah, we're not at seven. If actually, if that mountain wasn't there, the sun would still be up, but it's right behind that mountain. Because it wasn't wow. supposed to go to like six, ten till so it was six forty four. Or something like that. It's yeah. pretty though. I can see it back it there. It is. I love. It. I miss that sunset. That lily, beautiful sunset. Yeah, that's we miss that. It's dark, dark here. All right. I think I'm caught up in the chat. Did you catch up in the chat? It's Still chat. daylight. Yeah, in Oregon. Yeah, because yeah, y'all are the same, on the same, on the same, yeah. same. Same time. Yeah. Yeah, same time zone. We forget. <laughs> 
where we we're got at. the rig so darkened in there now i had to turn one of my little lights on uh, to see. you ain't seen nothing yet it's it's dark in there but it, no because we only were using the blind on this window so it's still letting light in not much she ain't seen nothing yet yeah <laughs> it's going to look like a, a photo of how they where you develop film in a dark room oh That's yeah right. <laughs> yeah how was that movie, Misa? Yeah, was it the any good? Ghost, I seen the new Ghostbuster movie came out. Was it worth going like to see the new one? Oh, we got yeah, we got we got yeah, yeah. We 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 might watch we that tonight if it's out there. In. <laughs> From the north, look at that. Yep, that's what we do, Naj. I know. That's on that two dollar bread. Especially Walmart's now. got it a loaf for dollar, but no. The not one it. bread that we used to always buy, it was like four dollars. Four dollars, yeah. Ooh. Like, nope. No. Nope. Uh, and then this, sandwich meat's so high too. That must be Nettie's if you're in Mel and Nettie's. Yeah. Drop your link. The night bot's here. My kids opened the window and turned off the heat because they were going to in the park. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's still. It didn't get light here till like 7.30 after 7.30. It is so dark in the morning. I hey, had, Ron Darrell, welcome. I did welcome. alarm hey, today. Ron, I, I, wait, wait, wait. Ron's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could say Ron's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I did alarm this morning at 7, 7, 7, 30. I don't know what time. It was dark still. When does it ever get I, light? I believe Rose is still there in courtside. Yeah. Yep. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy green mom dollar twenty nine. He's about yeah. to have company here in about fifteen minutes. Uh oh, uh -oh. Who's, who's coming? Um, so I'll have to go here in a minute. Gracie and Jock's adventure is stopping to get a burger and then I gotta lead her back here. Oh fine. So you'll have to for a little bit again. <laughs> uh oh. I guess there I better go. move on. Yeah, we better do this next one so we can see put you the winner again. <laughs> We just picked ours because I forgot. Oh my gosh, we gotta get to work. And there's homework. <laughs> so no, I, got, I, got, I got one, I got one on the fly tonight. So not, nothing new. <laughs> All right, here we go. y'all doing okay. i didn't get it <laughs> we're here today i gotta explain things to you all right so this here word right here um in the south is pronounced crick like y'all say this is crick the same same crick but this is like i'm going down by the crick to catch some frogs if i can have frog legs for dinner it's crick that's how you pronounce that one okay that's how you spell y'all's way, Crick. I got head. a crick in my neck. This is Three. crick in my neck. Yeah. But this is the water crick. And your hot crick to it. Okay? Everybody got that one? <laughs> in case I say crick one time, you're like, which crick you talking about? I'm talking about that water down there. I'm going to get me a frog in. <laughs> it's all in, all in the context, It's right? the context. Yeah, how you're using it. <laughs> all right, all I got to run up and get her. So you want me to do ours real fast? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> All right, here's ours. Bard, B-A-D, Bard. My brother Bard, my pickup truck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bird. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, I got to run up and guide get Gracie and Jock back here. All right, we'll put your winter banner up for you. Well, you want to mute because the car is right here. Yeah, I got to mute because, you know, Bobby's right here. Y'all Right. Right. I know.
Stacy. Hey, Roy. Yeah. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Crazy. Hi. She said hi. Yeah. Uh, 72 over by Tucson, where Steve's at. Nice. Rose. Hush. Steve, hush. I know, right? <laughs> Somebody's cold, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You should let y'all vote. There ain't but two people, though. Y'all can vote, but there's only the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> usually, yeah, usually we pick the southern word, and we're not going to pick ourselves. Right, yeah. I don't even think we have a banner for ourselves. <laughs> Was this Captain Jack Porter Coffee Company coming up the road? Porter, Porter Wagner. Porter Wagner. Coming, coming up the road? No, no ice cream. Oh, hello, Lacey. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Three. <laughs> Don't even try, Nah, She won't listen. Because I'll forget when I'm talking about it. So you can tell me to say creek, but then I'll get there and be like, oh, look at that little bee creek over there. Creek. <laughs> yeah, creek. It's a creek, not a creek. Creek. I got a crick in my neck. <laughs> yeah. Dag on me, I know. Saying hi, Lacey. Lacey's favorite person left. I know. He had to go in the yeah. big old lounge floor. We, we can always play the, the, the thing for her. I know, the Roy thing. Yeah. Here you go. Lady gave it to me. Yeah, okay. here you go. This is for Lacey. Funny. All right, I was right up here. Get back to the chat. Hi, Lacey. Hi, Lacey. Hi, Ellsworth. Rose saying hi to Ron. What are you yelling for? I don't know. Somewhere it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Lacey said hi, crazy. Yeah. He said hi back to her. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> My brother my barred, brother barred my, my pickup truck. Pick truck. <laughs> he ain't gonna bring it back neither. Now it's creek correctly. <laughs> Yankee, Yankee say creek. <laughs> hey Brenda. <laughs> Sounding out a word in the south is a joke. <laughs> it is. Look, I took a spelling test one time and I spelled the word worse, just like you sounded it. It's a, it's a chore. It yeah, it didn't have no or in it. And you talk about hard as teaching kids how to read in the South. <laughs> he was in there a while ago. I saw him. Wade O. Cripple Creek when I plead. Ah, Wade O. Cripple Creek. Where's Kenny? Kenny had a function to go to. He he's supposed to be he's here. supposed to be here, but he's he not, not here yet. Yeah, yeah. I think it was something at church that he had to go to, and he said he was going to be late. It's in near about 10 o'clock there, ain't it? Or no? Uh, yeah, near about 10. Going on 10 o'clock, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's in one. Yeah, Ron's in one of the other chats. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny is a church function. Yeah. Roy getting ice cream. No, he's going to lead somebody in. I know, right? <laughs> we started talking about that ice cream. He's probably running after to get it. He's like, oh, let me give me some ice cream. Thanks, everyone, for saying hi to Lacey. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We love making her night. Hi, Ron Darrell. Hi, mm -hmm. Lily. There he is. Yeah. Who said hi, Lacey? Mm -hmm. Hopped over there and said hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Lacey. Later, Lily. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. I have to go look up that song later. I went down the old country rabbit hole. The other night. <laughs> Crick in my neck. Yep, I get them all the time. All the time. How is uh, Oki doing, Steve? Uh, creek is how I say it most times. Sometimes I say creek. <laughs> Lacey's all smile. 
Yes. My grandma used to say crick up in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Roy <laughs> said company come. Come in, that's my left turn, my music company coming up the road. <laughs> oh, there's Brenda Burner saying good evening to Roy and Becky. Welcome, Brenda. Hey, hey. Creek is a creek and a holler is a holler. Yeah. <laughs> holler, holler. You're learning, TMC. <laughs> you know, we talk in Southern in no time at all. Oh, yeah. 952 there. Yeah. Yeah. So they's getting, he's, I don't know, he's probably going to get, can go all night. <laughs> can, I know they can. I'm telling you what. <laughs> I've been to a Pentecostal church a time or two. All right. Yeah. Good night, Lily. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for, for coming, coming in. We got 30 people in here. That's, That's awesome. So good. Oh, On the covers and getting pizza rolls. Yum. I almost bought pizza rolls today. They is expensive, so I walked right on by them. Brenda asking how Lacey's doing. Huh. Yeah. And it costs to be going on there. Doing well. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. so good. good oh, we be praying for her. Oh, Terry, LOL. I'm a Tennessee stump jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ooh, hold on to that. Don't let it go. Uh, we got voted. Mel and Nettie, both of you. I agree. Both people are winners. Oh, Thank you. Too funny right. and Lacey did. Yep. Some seizures. We'll move on to the next. Who's that? Uh, and, uh, it was Lacey's not doing good. Maybe. Lacey's good. Oh, Just Sarah's Sarah. having some seizures. Oh, oh goodness. We're okay. praying for her. Praying yeah. for her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mel. Nettie. Yes. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. That really helps out too. Hello, PS Odyssey. Welcome, welcome. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What? And what about Minnesota? Minnesota. Yeah, look, I said like uh, Minnesota. I say Colorado. Colorado, because there's an A in there. Hey, wait, wait. That's no fair. What? Wait. <laughs> fire. Wait, I don't want to fire. I want to be by the fire. Good fire. Yes, praying for Sarah. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. All right. All right. Hi. All right. We're gonna move on to the next one. The next lineup. Time flies. I know when you're having a good time. What's the next? Even though he's not here. I know. Um, we'll still do it. This this is this is one this one's Kenny segment. Yeah. <laughs> So we had, um, you make me big. Yeah, we had fried pork chops and baked beans, and we and had leftover <laughs> cornbread and rolls from dinner with Mel and Eddie last night. Yeah, <laughs> I ate the. We had chicken. I had chicken fried steak. I ate that for lunch, leftovers, you know. And then he didn't have a leftover. He had catfish, but they gave us a bunch of rolls. So I brought home. We had that with dinner. <laughs> it was good. All right, see what Becky had. We had Dang. chicken chimichangas, Ooh, rice that's and uh, refried beans, all with all that. Mm -hmm. That was our dinner. I know awesome. I didn't make them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, they, they know, right? <laughs> they sound good. Yeah, that's for sure. good. What everybody else have for dinner? I don't know. Where are you going to be at? Hey, Rebecca Bakes. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Beef stew. Beef stew. Yeah. 
Come up your hand. Uh, Rose had our PS. Odyssey had frozen pizza, but it was Jack's, which is good. Yeah. Mm. Going green mom snacking on pepper chicken and rice. Ooh. Well, she, this is her pizza roll. Pepper almost, chicken sounds good. I know. I almost bought them pizza rolls when we bought mine, but they was like four dollars. Oh look, Misha had flatbread pizza at the movies. Oh <laughs> yeah. I eat enough popcorn at the movies. I don't need no dinner. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rose. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate that. Uh, beef stew. All. Oh, let's see what Mel Nettie had. Oh, smothered, smothered chicken. chicken with corn and fries and dessert with snicker. Oh, what? You had dessert? <laughs> snicker cream pie. Oh, he had the mat. The male had the chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes and green beans. Oh, so good. Yum, yum. They make little cornbreads there to look like the state of Texas. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's see Tim have an instant pot shrimp. Etouffee. Etouffee. I wouldn't know how to make etouffee. Huh. Oh no! I know you can make it with in the instant pot. Mama said corn dogs. Corn dogs. You can't go wrong with corn dogs. Nope. And two, mashed Steve taters. had mashed taters. Yeah, mashed taters, not mashed. Oh no, taters. he was asking. He didn't have mashed taters. He's yeah. asking that he mashed taters. Mashed taters. Yeah, mashed taters. Mashed taters. <laughs> yeah, we had a sweet little waitress there. Uh. Which dinner? Oh, lunch, lunch dinner, dinner or, or supper dinner? dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I know. It's so confusing now. I got y'all all confused. Dinner is always dinner. <laughs> lunch time is dinner. Oh, She Devil had it's sausage supper. and eggs. That Ooh. sounds good. Yeah, I breakfast know. for dinner. I love that. Oh, oh, what's this one right here? Ivan had chicken masala, masala and, and steamed steam broccoli. That sounds Ooh. good. I'd eat on that. Now y'all are making me hungry. You can't eat again. <laughs> Please keep a friend, family, and prayers. Oh, no. What? Oh, my oh, word. Oh, man. Sorry that to hear that. so hard. Yeah. That definitely so pray for hard. them. Yes. I can't even imagine. Uh, she devil beat us all. <laughs> Breakfast for dinner. I know, right? <laughs> prayers. Somebody yeah. keeps banging on something. I know there's a banging sound outside our door. We had Costco rotisserie chicken. Leftovers for four minutes. I know that chicken is good. That Costco. We had it once a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, it's so sad. Oh, chopped chicken in packets and tortillas. Ooh, Ooh. that sounds good. Yes, yeah, definitely sending prayers. Sounds good. Dessert I got a mute. The dogs are going to bark. Roy's back. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> the best alarm system ever. I know. I love it. Yep, sending prayers. Oh, what's this? Cold, cold fried, fried chicken, chicken dipped in honey with cheese. That sounds good. I love me some cold fried chicken. Let me tell you she what. She tried to get me to buy chicken earlier I did. Today. We was at the grocery store. I said, look at that fried chicken right there. It looked good. <laughs> yes. Sending prayers. Sending prayers. Steve, oh, saw the house fire on the news here. Oh, so uh, sad. I can't even, oh. And then Catherine had chicken patties with sliced cheese, cheese on top. I'm making Ooh, it now. Yum, yum, yum. You know, I like to get them spicy chicken patties. They taste so good. But I didn't know. I ain't seen them in a while. <laughs> They're good, though. I like to eat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Very no. good. Glad everybody had a good dinner. Best fried chicken in Tucson is at Lucky Wishbone. <gasps> well, next time we come, Steve, <laughs> we'll have to go there and try on that. Lucky Wishbone. Hey, we're trying it. We know we got to come back. I know, because we lost all our footage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we didn't go. <laughs> Seems to be the theme of the month. I know. Do not hit the delete button. <laughs> uh, I'm, go. I'm hearing something. About it's in there. Okay. Yeah, if you hear a rattling, that's whatever's on the hitch with the generator. Yeah. Huh. It's driving me nuts. I get that way sometimes. It does. 
Well, don't know where he's at. He still didn't pop in there, but I do have his uh, his picture. Cat. There he is. <laughs> Kenny with his cat. Kenny with his cat. <laughs> Kitty, Kitty. There yeah. Yeah. Kitty, Kitty. Yeah, right back with the car. Maybe not. All right. I think we're going to move on to this day in history. This day in history. Where is it at? Right here. <laughs> Okay, in 1765, the Stamp Act imposed was imposed on American colonies. 17, the Stamp Act. Stamp Act. I didn't know it was that far back. Yeah. Hey, you Bernie. Know, negative taxes. Oh, hello, yeah, fairy dust. Thanks for popping in. Welcome, welcome. We appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a good evening. We were just sharing what we was having for dinner. Now we're doing the history. <laughs> this day in the history. <laughs> All right. In 1820, American naval hero killed in duel, duel. U.S. Navy officer Stephen Decatur, hero of the Barbary Wars, is mortally wounded in a duel with disgraced Navy Commodore James Barron at Bladensburg, Maryland. 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 <laughs> wow. I think the only one I've heard of Stephen. Like a duel, like with swords, like? I get. I. I don't know. Duel with sword. Duel. I don't. Or know. with a gun. More than one because it'd be a gun. Would they have to do them pacing, you know? Yeah, what was the Stamp Act, right? Yeah. And Naj says that's why we revolted. No taxation without representation. Right? I know. We didn't like being taxed. It's an act about stamps. <laughs> well, we're getting taxed right now. We need to have another. <laughs> Thank you, Fairy Dust. Thank you so much. Yes. We appreciate it. We really do. I feel like we're being taxed without representation now. I we're don't know. Still, yeah, we're being taxed like crazy. <laughs> tax right. on your tax taxes. 1893, first women's college basketball game played. 1893? When was the men's playing? Was that long ago, too? Oh, I didn't know they went back that far. I didn't either. I didn't either. I had no clue. <laughs> That's crazy. What? Long time ago. All right. Hey, in 1894 was the first Stanley Cup championship played. Hockey's that, that I knew. That I knew. I, I had either. What? Wow. I, I didn't know. know. I didn't know it went back that far. That's a long time for some hockey. You been watching them Predators? Mm, they be looking good. No Preds. <laughs> right. Shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why Chicago even has a hockey team anymore. <laughs> we need Coach Q back. Yeah. In 1933, Franklin D. Roosevelt legalizes sale of beer and wine. Woo After that prohibition, I reckon, huh? We thought it was about time. When was prohibition? In the 20s. Remember the roaring 20s? Oh, was it? Okay. And then he legalized it. The FDR. The FDR did. How did, how did he? I'm just checking uh, the, the, chat. the chat here. I just saw a video discussing a bill that had 6,000 little things tacked on for funding. Anything from a sex party company to city gardens. It's, yeah. And, and I think they came out and it's like over a thousand pages or something like that, and wanted them to read it in like a day or two or something. Yeah, they're supposed to get three days to look at a bill now, but I don't know. Remember, they wanted them to vote on bills without reading them. Without reading yeah. them, they did vote on some without they're still reading doing them. that. They did still, yeah. I don't even read what's in it. Howdy, howdy. Okay. I think they need an auditor. 
All right, let's see what's happening. 1934, first Masters Golf Tournament begins. Boy, there's a lot of sports this day in history. Right? <laughs> the, a lot of sports. Things. I know. They get their little jacket. Isn't this the green jacket one? Where you get the little uh, green jacket, I the think, Masters? I, I believe so. One of those getting their little green jackets back then. I don't watch a lot of golf. He used to, he used to watch golf and I'd fall asleep because that is boring. <laughs> When we was in I, Japan, though, we only had one channel. <laughs> I used to like to, to watch it. Or not watch it, but play it. Yeah, you watch it, I'll be sleeping. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch golf. I can play it on a video game, but not in real life. You can't have no. anything on his feet other than shoes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I was no good. I just liked playing. Just an <laughs> exercise, yeah. I like mini golf, miniature golf. Yeah, mini. I like there mini golf. I do like that. In 1945, Arab League was formed. Never heard of it. Me neither. Uh, Arab League. What is it? Uh, yeah, what? Anybody know what that is, the Arab League? I have no idea. Um, is it like a uh, uh, Arab nation, go. maybe? Or, oh. Or it's a bunch uh, of things. Captain Number Oh, it's uh, like a League of Their State, the yeah. League of Arab States. Oh, oh, like Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia. Oh, here I am thinking it's a sport. I didn't see it first. <laughs> well, I thought it was their kind of sport, but it's their league. Or at least give them time to read it. Yes, give them time to read it. Bernay. Yeah. They never read the bills. I promise you 99% of all Congress don't read bills. If that, yeah, I agree. Right. I agree with that. They, they don't even know how to read. Right? No. Captain Jack, I love hunting golf. Eggs. Right? I know. You can get them out some little uh, little ponds that's in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody died. See, she's doing better, um, Fairy Dust. No pain today. Did Roy just say Patriots? Patriots. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there you go. Steve knew it. Middle, Middle East. East. Oh, cool. Thank you, Steve. I had to Google on it. Well, so did uh, Boy Green Mom. League of Arab Nations. I didn't know that. I'm not smart. Yeah. Learn something. I know. We learned something there. Steve asking Bernay how doing well. Okay, she's doing no well. Yeah. Yeah. No pain today. I love that. Pete Paul, I love, I love Mr. Roy. Oh, uh, how cute. <laughs> but I said congressmen don't know how to read. No. I don't think so. All right. Next one. Next one. Hey, 1972, Equal Rights Amendment passed by Congress. We were just talking about Congress. <laughs> oh, they passed the Equal Rights Amendment in 1972. That was pretty late. I know. It was too late. They should have done that way sooner. All right. And, oh, what? 1983, the origins of the hum the origins of the Hummer. You mean this oh, they, I remember that. That was big news in our area. Yeah. What does that mean? The origins of the Hummer. The Hummer. The, the, Hummer. the car. So it yes. It Hummer. came out in 83. The military one, though, right? The military Hummer. Fire strike. Yeah. And then they started selling to people. Look, gas guzzler. That's what I call it. AM General out of Mishawaka, Indiana. Oh, yeah. You like the phone here. Oh, uh, yeah, before we find out what it's yeah. in it. I know, it don't make no sense to me. Right. Okay, in 1984, seven teachers are indict indicted at the McMartin Preschool in Manhattan Beach, California, by the Los Angeles County Grand Jury after hearing testimonies from 18 children. What were they indicted for? I don't know. I don't even remember this. Well, you know, we need to be that's year we got married. That was the year we. I'm only like ten years old, so I wouldn't know. I was uh, thirteen. I don't remember. We got married that year. Graduated that was the year high we school. got married and we gra we graduated high school. But yeah. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. But wonder what they did preschool teachers doing to. I don't know. I remember a, a preschool teacher in Marysville got fired because she was drunk one day at school. Yeah. Or not preschool. It was kindergarten. Kindergarten teacher got came to school drunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. 
Hey. Make sure I'm keeping up with the chat. Keeping up. Couple yeah, a couple more. more yeah. Couple more. Okay, in 2007, News Corp and the NBC announced new internet venture. What new internet venture? Hmm. That was the internet was born in 2007. That ain't old internet, ain't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The last one. The last one. 2014. Yes, this was on the news today. Mudslide in Washington State kills more than 40 people. This is an Oso. Oso. That was less than 30 minutes from where we live. Yeah. So if you go on our channel, we have a video of the memorial there for the Oso uh, survivor, you know, and the victims. Too. That, that landslide was so huge that it rerouted the river. Took the whole road out, rerouted the river. The people, and you could not get around. It's like they're isolated as it was, and it was the only road in and out. And they had way around. You yeah, could it was not like go. An hour and a half detour around. It was awful. Reading that or seeing it in the news. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. It's in Oso, Washington, on and near Arlington, on the uh, Snohomish River. No, not the Snohomish. Right there. Not the Snohomish, it's the Snohomish. It's the Snohomish. No. No. The Snohomish. It's still a Guam. Still a Guam. Still a Guam. Sure. I'm like, wait a minute. Gosh, so I can't many, remember. There's so many rivers. There's so many rivers. Let's see. March 22nd, 1983, the Pentagon awarded a production contract for 55,000 hunters. What? Damn. Oh, I think they were answering about the preschool teachers. For oh, sexual abuse. for babies? Just makes yeah. me sick. Well, makes oh, them sick. They're babies. Yeah, they should. Yeah. Yeah, they should get their things sewed up or tucked off or something. <laughs> <laughs> I can wrong. think of better treatment. <laughs> right. So wrong, the poor babies. Goodness gracious. Well, I'm thinking Kenny's not going to make it. I know he's the way he's getting on right now. No. I can see him on his bus now. Come on, driver, hurry up. I got to get to the live stream. <laughs> oh, there's a live one. You're driving too slow. <laughs> I need to see my friends. <laughs> I enjoy Kenny. He's so much fun. I know. We love his little laugh. He's so fun. It's just a good uh, time together. I know, yeah. Howdy, Paul. I don't know. Yeah. We're doing pretty good on time, then. Look at us. Time's a flying. It is, but we doing good. We ain't out totally out. <laughs> Chip chat. Yeah, twenty four in the house. Hey, twenty four in the house. Woo woo woo. I agree. Yeah. Yep. So sad. Let's move. We'll move, move on. We yeah, we'll move on. I reckon we could do the chit chat. Chip, 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 Talk about some things. I didn't even read these at all, so these are all. What did you read? Did you give me the answers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I read one or two of them, and that was it. Okay. All right. Mr. Lee's asking how close you are in hours. We are a five hundred. So y'all all got We're, we're just about five hundred. We're almost integrated. Or. Yeah, going under 500. We need um, y'all to do homework. <laughs> I'm ready to do the work. You didn't do schoolwork. You ain't going to do homework. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I don't know how I got through school. I didn't do homework. <laughs> you didn't do school. I never studied for tests, and I used to make my friends mad because I'd just go in and take tests and get A, and they get all mad at me. <laughs> I never did study, but I'm running on our pewter up front, uh, our channel. Yeah, she's <laughs> running the playlist right now. Playlist, kind of help out. I don't know. It took me a minute to figure it out. I ain't really smart on all. I know. That. I'm hot for sure. We we should definitely go under 500 here. Yeah, we ought to today or tomorrow, and then Sunday we're going to do a drive live, and then Monday we're going to do our first live, like sitting down. Yes, live. Yeah, we get to rate them. Yep, we're going to rate yeah. them. Yeah, we're gonna be right after Roy and Becky, so y'all can come raid us, and that'll yeah. help us move up too. Yeah, Maddie showed us how we looked up that we're getting about was it fifty every Friday well, night? Yeah, forty to fifty hours every Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we so appreciate it. We oh. do. We appreciate it so, so much. So much. Everybody coming into our 
whatever is it, our side, the link. <laughs> our channel. Our channel. I'm like, you know, you quit click on that little button up there. <laughs> All right, let's go on and move on to some chit chat. Some chit chat. Chit -chat. Chit -chat. <laughs> oh, that's the welcome one. Go down one. I went the wrong one. There you okay. go. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? <laughs> Sticking her finger in her, somebody's ear when it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably a lot of things I do. <laughs> I know. Stay getting dressed sometimes. I look stinking stupid. <laughs> well, I tell you, there's a reason I don't dance. <laughs> right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of answers to that one. <laughs> yeah. Steve says picking your nose. Yeah. <laughs> going to your mom's at duck <laughs> Picking your nose. Uh, going out, like, say Yellowstone to see, like, the bison, and you get out of your car to take a picture. Yes. Why do that? Why you get out of your bear? car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay away from yeah. Uh, yeah. Brushing teeth. <laughs> Brushing teeth. Yeah, I guess that's funny. <laughs> Definitely ten more Friday night. <laughs> Brushing teeth. Yeah. And Misha's laughing at Steve. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. Brush your, yeah. Good job. Dancing. Dancing. Brush your teeth. I don't uh, know. Mel says, or Nady says, sneezing. sneezing. Yeah, sometimes sneezing, you do look pretty wild when you're sneezing. Great minds think alike. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you look pretty silly when you're eating, too, though. Oh, yeah. Green, going green, Mom, that's something I'm not even going to try. Clark. <laughs> it does look stupid. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Clark can look stupid, though. You know what? And I, that one dance, the flossing dance. The, the little floss dance. Oh, I used to my hate gosh. that. I used to have fifth graders do that all the time. I'm like, dude, well, you got something in your pants or something? What are you doing? <laughs> that floss dance, yeah. Oh, uh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, I know. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Um, fairy dust trying to talk to some drunken people. <laughs> right? Yeah, they do look kind of. <laughs> And they don't even think they're drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Jack, did you ever talk to Becky or somebody? Becky or somebody? You no. talked to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Nettie says Mel looks sexy twerking. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see it, though. I don't want to see Mel. it. <laughs> Mel's going to have to show us. No. Next, that's the next short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate, yeah, that floss dance. I hate that. I hated that thing. Yeah. That was great. Oh. I know. I, right? know. I got in your arm this kind of thing. Twerking was part of Sadie Mae Hawkins Day. Huh. Well, Sadie Mae's, that's when you got to ask a guy to the dance or something, right? Too much information. I know, right? <laughs> Steve says his grandson used to do the floss dance. I know they all of them. Did they it. all did it. It, yeah. it was like epidemic. Like everybody was doing it. You got to recess. And they're all doing it. Oh. <laughs> they teaching Lisa them how to says, do. We'll take your word for it, Nettie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to see none of that now. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Did you see his stanky leg dance? Oh yeah, the stanky <laughs> leg dance. Yes, I remember, yeah. I remember that. Yes. Oh, oh man. that's too cute. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. All right. This is almost what is the most embarrassing thing you have ever Oh, he's got a good worn. one. He's got a good one. Terry shorts. <laughs> he wore my short pants. All right, look, we was going on the boat doing the you know, you ski behind the boat like. And he was skiing behind the boat and went in the water and split his pants all up. Well, I had to I had an extra pair of shorts. He had to wear my shorts. There was terry cloth shorts, too. 
<laughs> wasn't very boy like at all <laughs> but he had nothing else to wear <laughs> 70s clothes in the 80s i don't know <laughs> right <laughs> saw a couple of guys in a video doing the stinky leg the other day. That's oh, funny. <laughs> a toga. A toga. Yeah. Toga. Toga, toga, toga. 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 You show me probably that one piece PE zipper thing. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to wear that. No. Ooh, that would be too much. Uh, Oh, come on, a dress Steve. for a friend's wedding. It was the ugliest wedding dress. Oh, yeah. I've seen some uh, of them things. In I've oh never been God. to bridesmaids, but yeah, I've seen some ugly dresses. Steve and Mel. has 80 clothes in any decade. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, we had cool ones. We had parachute pants. And I know, hey, right? Hello, KT Spirit One. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Oh, no. One love. Um, hey, he did have a pair of short pants that was his. You know, guys used to wear shorts really short. And his had a hole in them. And one day he's like, where them pants go? Uh-huh. <laughs> I tried them away. Like, who's short and had a hole in them? <laughs> it was his comfy pants. <laughs> leisure suit? Your leisure suit. I ain't seen one of them. I don't know if I ever wore anything about Hey, Jane. Come Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Here, all the way up in Oregon now. Nice. I don't know. Is it pretty chilly up there? Maybe. I don't know. On that side, it ain't as bad. I never had to do the bridesmaid dresses. Thankfully, most of my friends are guys. Yeah, I never was picked to be nobody's bridesmaid either. Oh, there you go, Nitty. Drop the uh, link, link to the to stanky leg. Yeah, you can watch that one. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Beautiful up there. Yeah, it is. Dukes. <laughs> Luke Dukes. Yeah, instead of Daisy Dukes, Luke Dukes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I used to wear his tube socks all the time. I think that's kind of embarrassing. You no, know, kind of thinking socks. about Luke did wear some pretty short shorts on that show. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, never did. Yeah. Where's Kenneth? Kenneth is at a church function. He's late. He's yeah. supposed to pop in. He said right? he was going to be here late, but he's late, late. He's about to run out of time. Okay. You're holding the fort down in his chat. So. I know, right? <laughs> hey, Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Hey, Elsa. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. All right. I would go. I'll go with pretty much any bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Woo! Next one. What part, body part, do you wish you could detach, and why? My keg. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you want to get rid of your keg? It gets in the way. It gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> what body part? I guess. What body part? I'd have to say. My it's like, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Prostate. That thing's been a pain in the butt the last few years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, is, are you detaching it so you can use it, like, you know, for some other reason? No. Or just get rid of it. You're get detaching it. to get rid of it. I wouldn't it. want to reuse that. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say my gut, the belly, the spare tire, whatever oh, you want to yeah. call it. That's right. right. Yeah. I definitely would get rid of some pounds. That's for sure. Yeah, that's another reason, Nettie. <laughs> He's like, where'd they go? I'm sure they're still there. Right. Now, we ain't got a good mirror for you to go checking on them either. <laughs> Girl, I'm way of thinking. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> My excess body fat. That's what I want to get rid of. Yeah, all that can go. Yes. <laughs> Easier than having to starve oh, myself. They're they're glamping in a rest area. Hey, <laughs> be careful up in the northwest at a rest stop. 
Just if saying. that doesn't work, I'll go with whichever rib is out of place. No, no. Tim says if you could detach it and attach accessories in its place. Yeah, I'm wondering, can you like, you know, take it off and put something else there, you know? <laughs> that would be cool. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> Swap out. Yeah. Swap out, you know, <laughs> whatever you're needing for that day. <laughs> yep, safe travels at Jane. Yes. No other answers coming. Right. Tired. Well, allergies and it was yeah. hot today. Working on the solar. That's why I had, I had the solar disconnected a bit chunky today. Yeah. 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 Back up. The, heat, the heat will drain. I'm on Benadryl, didn't. Nettie. Sorry. She on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> if peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Nut butter. Nut. <laughs> That's the first popped in my head. Right. <laughs> Smeary <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Smeary sticky stuff. <laughs> uh, can I have a full set of different hairstyles? Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, you just take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trying to keep from dragging the ground. Yeah. All right. Did you drink Gatorade, Roy? Yeah, did you have your Gatorade? Oh, I forgot to today, but I am tomorrow. It's supposed to be tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow. Well, I still need my Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, Benadryl will do that. Benadryl does. That's why I take like the one that don't make you sleepy. Yeah. Nut butter. <laughs> Nut butter. <laughs> I don't know. I just popped in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Peanut spread. Peanut spread, yeah. Creamed peanuts. Creamed peanuts. Creamed nuts. I call oh, it good. 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 <laughs> this is good too. Mashed peanut. Mashed peanuts. I like that. Or peanut smash. Peanut smash or Mr. <laughs> peanut poop. Yeah. Oh, I like peanut poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cream nuts. I was going with, uh, nut cream. Yeah, that nut too. cream. Yeah. Badge is headed north too. Oh wow! And then cream nuts. Cream nuts. Cream, I got some cream nuts. You want a cream nut and jelly sandwich? <laughs> Woo. Captain Jack, question for you: How's the new truck? Did he get one? Uh-uh. Okay, oh, can't read that. Lickers. Lickens. 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 Uh, no progress on that. Yeah, it stinks. That's a bummer. I know we've been praying for you, Captain Jack. To get a vehicle. It's long oh, that's a people outside. Damn, recording night. What are some things that are okay to occasionally do, but definitely not okay to do every day? Thanks. Probably drinking. Drinking, drunk, get drunk in every day. <laughs> it's probably not good to do that every day. Probably not good to do that every day. Not every day. Yeah, I died. <laughs> that ain't good to do no day, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Why are you jumping out of a perfectly good airplane? Yeah, I never figured that out. Right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Derma brazier. Yeah, that might have it. Eating chocolate. Eat chocolate. Wait, er, you can't eat chocolate every day. You can't eat chocolate. Yeah, I can eat it every day. Oh, you, I got no problem with that. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> chocolate and peanut. Well, chocolate's supposed to be good for you. So, yeah. uh, KT Spirit. That's because there's brands of right now three chats open. 
So most of them are under um, traveling on adventures. Terry and Earl's uh, chat. Yeah. So you're only seeing if you're in Kenny's chat, you're only seeing who's in Kenneth's chat. Yeah. I wish dinner. I eat dinner every day too. No, I'd be sleeping. <laughs> Happy week. Oh. <laughs> You can't do that every day. <laughs> turkey dinner. Hey, Mine would be I drinking. I'm born by choice. Oh, what? <laughs> Going Green Mom says she can eat chocolate every day. Right? I can't tell you. Oh, so can Jane. Right? KT Spirit One's not in Kenneth's chat. I don't think they're in ours, but yeah, whatever chat you're in, click on the link that's pinned, and it'll take you right to traveling on adventures and help them get what. Yes. I wonder if he's Thank in. You. I wonder if he's in Melanetti's. Yeah. Oh, that could be. Yeah, I forgot. That could be. Melanetti's, yeah. Well, I know she's saying for him to click in Kenny's Kenny's chat. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got Kenny's open. Twenty in there. Hey, Ooh, there's there's the there's there's on over. We got snacks. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Your sheet. They're in Kenny Kenneth's chat. All right. Okay. Yeah, click on the pin link and you'll be over there with everybody on Traveling on Adventures. I had to refresh because no, I don't think anybody's going. streaming to Facebook. I haven't seen anything from Facebook. Yeah. Um, I don't. We, I don't know. We don't link is. up to Facebook at all. I'm, I'm trying to go I'm down Friday and put on Friday nights. I, I'm going down, putting everybody's chat up here that I can. Uh, Nettie eats cheese. Yeah, she was telling us that cheese she every cheese day. Every day. I don't know that Me too. Oh, every yeah. day, I could eat cheese. Every day, every night, every, I could use an IV of cheese. Is anyone? Yes, uh, we're streaming to Facebook, and I think Kenny is, and Nettie and them are. We're not. No, we don't do our Friday yeah. nights on Facebook. And, and then, like after after April twenty second, you no longer can stream to Facebook. And that what we yeah, doing? what's up with that? What? <laughs> what's up with what? that? I was reading chat. What? You can't have, you know. Oh, after, after, it, after yeah. Dark chocolate. It's supposed to be better for you. Dark chocolate is. Not in theirs. Mm -hmm. All chocolate's good for you. I don't yeah. care what they say. <laughs> they say dark chocolate's supposed to be better for you. I don't you. care. All chocolate. <laughs> I like dark chocolate. Everyone joins, yeah. But it'd be nice if if everybody's linked that you everybody can see everybody's chat yeah, yeah. does it i love cheese crisp i don't know if i've ever had that sounds good though cheese crisp. somebody's having a senior i eat at, at the, the senior, senior center oh okay nice his dad used to eat there every day remember he'd go over there yep. every day. he rode the little bus over there hey, every day. kt here's Traveling adventure. Oh, okay. Thank Sorry, you, Lisa. Thank thanks you. Thanks for sharing that. Wonder why they picked her birthday. And then he's saying hi. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. All right. If you were arrested with no explanation, mm. what would your friends and family assume you had done? They think I don't feel. <laughs> I don't say run our mouths. Yeah, run, run, run the mouth. <laughs> yeah, they probably never ran my mouth. They probably thought I told the cop off, especially my kids, because my kids don't see me my worst. <laughs> they probably think my mom done run her mouth off. <laughs> She's back on that dark chocolate. And I know, yeah, yeah it's in oxen, all that in it, yeah. Thank you so much, Rose. Thank yes. you. Yes. Usually, I punch somebody probably. I would say I probably, I probably kill somebody or something. I don't know. That's, That's a kill. possibility, too. Yeah, right? I'm saying. No, my KT, mouth. you don't. Yeah, uh, my yeah. mouth got me in trouble. Right? It's almost yeah. got you in trouble. Thank before. you. He almost got in trouble one time. We was at the lake, at, the, um, at Navy Lake in Millington. And if I hadn't been pregnant, walking by him, I think they'd have took him. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> but they mouth. felt bad for him because his mouth went off on that little, you know, little Navy cop. Little Navy cop. <laughs> uh, indecent exposure. 
or speeding. Oh, yes, yeah, speeding. Yeah, Both true. possibilities. Still. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put my foot on that pedal over now, man. Next really someone. Fine. I know, right? <laughs> Natty's fine. I'm punched on. And Mel's over there going, hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah. Pebble assault. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Was well, this one standing? Standing. Oh, st the staying fifth. on the bleeding the fifth. Bleeding the fifth on this one. I know, right? <laughs> uh oh, Jack. <laughs> yeah, public sense. <sits. laughs> hey, I did spend the night in jail no for a possibility. Uh, for, Pub for public lewdness. He did because he went TT in the uh, bushes. Yeah. Naj would be. Uh, what? Yeah. We're a violent Speedy. brunch. <laughs> Somebody's going to be a violent brunch. <laughs> yeah, violent. <laughs> We're sweet kind. I ain't never people. hurt nobody, though. So I'm just saying. That's what people would think. <laughs> Nettie says, I blow, I'm blow faster than Mel. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Oh, no. She's like, in a minute, you're going to get mad. And he's always trying to calm her down. <laughs> he's like, calm down. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Let's see what other things we can get in trouble with. Oh, oh we're only got, a, we got too many more left. Where was the most... <laughs> where was the most inappropriate, most embarrassing place you've Farted. Church. <laughs> that list is too long to talk. <laughs> you the classroom with kids. Uh, yes, for real. For real, they're like, Mrs. Wright, was that you? Uh -uh. No. Nope. <laughs> That's for dang sure right there. I farted in front of us, and they was, was that you? Nope. <laughs> Vancouver Island is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Uh, we loved it over there. We took the little ferry boat. And the uh, ferry boats in Canada are so much better than the ferry boats in America. Just got to say, they're just amazing. Oh, yes, they are. We took the little ferry boat over there to Vancouver uh -oh. Island. I was pissed at her. Oh, she was mad. But, you oh. know, but Mel was so calm. And she was over there. I'm fixing to blow a fuse. <laughs> <laughs> I think she did pretty good. She did. She just went. Do people remember where they parted? <laughs> well, if everybody talks to you about it or looks at you funny, they do. <laughs> I don't know. He likes to fart at the grocery store and go, come on, let's go faster. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> we got to get off this room. He'd be like, we got to get off this road. <laughs> That's you. Yep. Come on, let's hurry up. Why? I just farted. No, no I know, right? I know. One, it's one way to get her to move along. <laughs> I, <don't want> <laughs> I think the funniest is when we heard another couple and you heard the wife. Did you do that? <laughs> yeah. It was him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one. Really she awesome. thought her husband did it. I, know, right? I can't believe oh, you no. did that. <laughs> when I roll over the yeah. bed and Mel's way. <laughs> That's poor, too poor Mel. Poor Mel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great yeah. idea too. I have friends who have invited me up to Port. I think it's Port Albert, maybe. Albany. Yeah. Albany, but it's more due to than I want to go. Huh. I'll go see them this summer. <laughs> Figured Mel would be the hot head. No, Mel's very calm. Either I beat the out of someone, cussed a cop, or was caught swimming with nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not to laugh. Are you talking about the loud, noisy ones? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that. Just says, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just says part uh, again. I don't know. The SBDs are really bad. <laughs> What's that, Roy? Silent but violent. Yeah, the street's wall. You don't hear it, but you walk into his wall. <laughs> yeah, you walk into the wall. <laughs> Once I was shopping in the commissary, and this old man left one. <laughs> no. Okay, hey, no. okay. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Talking about old man, his dad was deaf and would have those. <laughs> 
I'm choking up. But you know them bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> all the time oh. but he couldn't even hear it it was hilarious oh, <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh. we just he's a, he's yeah asleep and didn't realize he, <laughs> he wouldn't even know he would walk around <laughs> oh. yeah. grandma said her bottom burst <laughs> <laughs> like oh, my bottom burnt. Sorry. You said duck. Did you hear that duck? Oh, hey, Nomadic Crap Pack. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Never late. Never late. Yeah, hey, Nomadic Crap Pack. Oh, he brought party hats for everybody. Pass them out. Pass them out. Jack says stepping farts. Stepping farts. <laughs> well, that's better than the walking poo. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> Those ones you get, go check your pants. Yeah, you better go check your britches oh, on yeah. them. Steve, Steve says crop dusting Walmart. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody does it there, I think, though. <laughs> oh, that's what I say. Mel right. said he stepped with the frog. Yeah, he always says that. You hear, oh, hear the frogs? <laughs> you hear the frogs? <laughs> he does it all the time. You hear frogs? Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh, this one's going to be a hard one. Where is the worst smelling place you've been? Plymouth, Indiana. <laughs> the whole town? The whole town. The whole town because of the fertilizer Yeah, plant. that's bad. It used to be I Everett with the paper mill. It used to be the paper mill in Everett. They shut that place down. Yeah, I went up to, uh, you know, the Kikoman soy sauce. I went to their plant because we sell buckets there. I couldn't eat soy sauce for, gosh, three years. Let me rephrase that. Her company sold buckets to them. Yeah. We do not sell no. poop buckets, so please do no, not contact no. us for any poop bucket orders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the soy sauce. Oh, Gary, yeah. Gary used to smell bad, too. Gary was oh, bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gary, Indiana. That's where yeah. my daddy was born. My daddy was born now. Louisville used to smell bad. In Plymouth, too. Indiana. Man, that, oh, that fertilizer plant was horrible. Oh, Captain Jack agrees with it, Gary. Yeah. Oh, have, we, have we ever been there? We just drove on the interstate, but we've never gone too then years. South Bend, Indiana had the ethanol plant. That stunk horrible. Hmm. Oh. I have to agree with Roy and Becky. When the fertilizer plant was up, it stank. Sorghum processing That's season was pretty rank in Syracuse, too. Yeah. I'd like to for my pepper closet. <laughs> so, you know that movie, uh, Offer is an Officer and a Gentleman? Yep. That flavor plant used to be there, and that's um, that was so bad. That's the one they filmed it in, but it's gone now. Because it stunk up the whole town. <laughs> Inside a plugged up cesspool. Yes, oh, I was a teacher says it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, <sighs> oil refinery in Regina. Oh, yeah. Do not hear vagina. <laughs> Grandma would tell the kids that Grandpa farted. <laughs> yeah, it is Regina. You got a big here. Yeah. Yeah, the Everett Paper yeah, Mill. Yeah, that's what yeah. we were talking about, the Everett Paper Mill. It was mail. so bad. Yeah. Oh. Prepper. Oh, Rose is saying yeah. hi. Yeah. What, Roy? I'll be placing an order for 10. 10 poop buckets. Yeah. I don't make them no more. Yeah. I'm a retired bucketeer. There you go. <laughs> Camp Humphreys in South Korea, the pig farm use a mix of animal. Ooh. Okay, pigs are the stankiest animals. Oh, yeah. And if you have a truck come by, you've got cows in it, chickens, whatever. You ain't nothing like when a pig truck comes by you. Oh, oh. nasty. My brother used to haul those pigs. My mom would make him disown his clothes on the back porch. Yeah. And then he had to run to the shower because, oh my God, the whole house smelled like. The the hog truck. 
Uh, so, uh, Dude, uh, ew, hose yourself off out there or something, but you stink. Right? Yeah, saying hello, saying hello. Lejeune Road, there's a sewer processor. Ew, I bet that's nasty. Hey, Strong Adventure. Oh, hey, Strong's Adventures. They smell like money. I didn't see you <laughs> pop in here. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Paper mills smell like money. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. yeah that that paper mill never. It was nasty. It stunk so bad. All right. Let's see what's next. Well, hey, didn't we already kind of have one like this? What party part wouldn't you mind losing? That's similar to the one about detaching it. Yeah. Yeah. It's still be like the spare tire. Yeah. Yep. I think my, it's gonna be the same. My kegger. My fat. We're going to the last one in there. Yeah, there's only one more. I'm just gonna... Captain Jack says the hush puppy plant was rather rank, tanning leather. Ooh. Huh. Oh yeah, them shoes. My mama used to wear them shoes and hush puppy shoes. Yeah. Well, Misha's. Skip Misha. Man, these things are. Pinky toe. Keeps going pinky toe. Oh, he's saying on the way to Monroe, just before the fairgrounds, the Smith Dairy Farm. Huh. I don't. They wouldn't open I don't remember, them. I, I don't know what you're talking about, farm, but I don't. I don't remember. Being funky. I don't know. There's a lot of funky farms out there right. in the Monroe area and uh, out that way. You know, if they had built a poop silo instead of a poop pond, they could have put in electric generation. <laughs> yeah. All right. I even said his, his hair. <laughs> what was the question? Yeah, what was the question? It was, what's a body part that you wouldn't mind losing? Red hide in Florida smells amazing. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> We're gonna feed lots. In the feedlot say it's, that's the smell, smell of money. money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a zip. Wait, what was that? A zipper. To the clam show. Yeah. Made me, made me money, money when I had to work at one. Now them chicken rendering plants make me barf. Yeah. <laughs> Weep the wild winds. Flab. Yeah. Flab. I wouldn't mind losing. No, all of it can go. Oh, going green mom wants a hair too. Wait about chopping mine anyway. I'm gonna tell you that once you lose all your hair and it grows back, I don't get my hair cut anymore because I was bald all that time and I'm like, I'm so glad I have hair. <laughs> I lost some of mine. Yeah. I feel really sad for uh, the the Princess Kate. She's got cancer and going through chemo. I feel really sad for her. Wait, you know, I know Charles you know her got cancer. Gary refers to the butt. I never quite got the slang on the saying until I drove through the dairy farms of Tillamook <laughs> while they were fertilizing the fields. <laughs> that, oh, now the high school my kids went to they called it what they call it cow pie high because they fertilized the fields out there with poop. Yeah. And it's you got a football game and it was ugh. You sit at a football game on Friday night smelling. And the wind when the wind shifts, you'd be like, Yep, it's time to go. Flab keeps us warmer in the winter. It's true. Yeah. I do say, but it's summer now. Can I get rid of it for the summer and then get it back? Well, Captain Jack says, Don't do it, Groom Going Green. Yeah. I have no idea how snowbirds spend the whole winter in Welton, Arizona. It's downwind of a finishing feed lot. Ugh, I bet it's funky. We'll just think pretty soon we could be downwind from a couple of poop ponds. Yeah. <laughs> is that, know, what, is that right? what that is over there where the new dump station's at? Oh, it's an open uh, leach field. Oh, It'd be oh. an evaporation, yeah, poop ponds. Yeah. Supposedly, uh, if it's done right, it doesn't stink, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Tell them what ice cream is good. Yeah. We've been to their factory. 
I started fixing nutrient deficiencies and then the stuff I take to print all help hair growth. Got 12 uh, inches in the last eight years. Man, my months. hair don't grow at all. It never grows. It's like, but I'm happy to have hair. I didn't like being bald. <laughs> we called it cow pie high. Yeah, <laughs> see? What? Yeah. Now this is Marysville, Washington. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you're close to tell him. You're close to tell him you need Rose, to go. Rose wants to get rid of her thunder thighs and boobs. I went to Sam Barlow High School. Text correction there. They are spreading in the fields behind us today. Ugh, it smells so awful. Rose talking about. Ah. Yeah, it is that season. Yeah, they yeah, used to do that in front of the All right, we'll get on to the last, the last chit, -chat. chit chat. What is the best and worst purchases you've ever made? Mm. That's a hard one. That is hard. The best. Well, our motor home. I, I think our motor home is the best. Yeah, say they say your worst. A lemon yeah, car a lemon. was my worst, yeah. I don't know what our worst was. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm still paying on you, so. <laughs> that stupid big house. Rolling <laughs> stupid That stupid big house in Marysville. Yeah, we bought that big old honking house up in Marysville. That was a stupid buy. It was. It was like 3,600 square feet. It was ridiculous. How many bedrooms? Six bedrooms? Six bedrooms. Two well, well, everybody suites. lived with us at, for a while, but then they yeah. all started leaving, and we still had this stupid huge house. <laughs> that was a stupid purchase. These are best. My son's tux. Worst. Timeshare. Yeah, I've heard people hate timeshares. Uh Best my trailer. I'm at 18 years and I pay 5700 Wow. That's so good. That's nice. Yeah. Best purchase I ever made was this incredible deal on a cruise. Nice. Worst purchase I ever made was this cruise I never used. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. <laughs> Worst college degree and a half. Right. I'm saying it's a lot uh, of money. Ivan, 1979 Empress 22 class, 22 foot class A motorhome, money pit on wheels. <laughs> Got almost nothing for it three years later. Dang, that stinks. Well, Nettie Bravos was the best. Worst was too much stuff before going full time. Yeah, we I know. You don't know what you need to go we, full time. We still got too much stuff. We do. We get, every time we get back to the property, we purge. <laughs> what's what's what? He's disagreeing with you. Oh, that about her thunder thighs. Yeah, she's got thunder. Yeah, where the rose? Yeah, where? <laughs> let me show, let me show you some thunder thighs. <laughs> Steve, the best. Small oh. house we had built in 2004 now paid off. Worst 19. I had a, I, had, I don't even know what year that was. Yeah, that Man, Chevy Vega was the worst. caught on fire. I think blew, nearly blew Yeah, up. dad had one. Junk. <laughs> Woo, that's the worst kind of car you can have. They, that, that thing, uh, they re came and repossessed that stupid thing, and it, it was sitting on blocks, and dude came pick it up said, there it is. You can have it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> it was a piece of junk. Woo. I'll never own no Vega again. Anybody else? That's probably your worst purchase, your Vega. Probably. <laughs> yeah, because then you trade your... Um, 69 Chevy Impala. He traded his Impala in for that stupid thing. Yeah, you did that with your Escort. That stupid Oldsmobile silhouette car uh, said it shot more than it ran. Sierra. Yeah. Yeah. Rose, you are thunderless. Right. <laughs> no ties. Yeah. 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 The aluminum box on those things, they were pieces of Ooh, junk. I know. It was awful. Great. Oh. Made it back. Yeah. Kenny never made it. Nope. So Nova is Nova a 
pose a problem because it means no go. Yeah. <laughs> what does Vega mean? I don't know. Yeah. Pizza jump. <laughs> yeah. My arms are bigger than your thighs, Rose. Well, as long as they turn, we'll be okay. We got a car coming straight at us. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Are you over in Irish Nomadic? That's where I got all the cool people. All cool are. kids are over here at our party. We got somebody brought party hats, you know, we got snacks. <laughs> somebody made some pizza rolls. <laughs> my, my stick bricks was my best. Worst was new Equinox. I hated that thing. Oh. Awesome. Thank you, Mel and Nettie. Yes. Troy. Welcome, Troy. Did somebody pop in? Oh, I haven't seen him come in. Hey. Welcome, Troy, if I missed you. Yeah. Vega means fallen star. In right. this case, means fallen car. Right, fallen apart car. Yeah. Dad had to tie his door shut when we climbed inside of it because they never oh would stay shut. Goodness. I believe uh, it. that thing was a piece of junk. All right. Well, Woo. it is 10 o'clock. Yeah. What a Woo. great time, everybody. Uh, no, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> Time really flew tonight. It was a lot of fun. I know. A lot of fun. A lot of interaction. We appreciate it. Even though we missed in. Mel and Nettie, even though they popped in here quite a bit. That's good. Yeah. Oh, one last quick one here. Best purchase. purchase was I bought $45,000 US when I retired, and Canadian dollar was slightly higher. It cost me $44,997. It's long gone now. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Too funny. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody. Yeah. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, yep. and don't forget to do your homework right. and watch some videos. Right. Yeah. Homework. Look, <laughs> <laughs> he's like turning his head down. Yeah. Then on Sunday we'll be doing a live, and then on Monday we're doing a live right after Roy and Becky's live. Yep. So come join us for those things. So, with that, I know Roy and Becky's tired. They're drugged up. I'm tired. <laughs> and so, they've been sweating to death all day. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming. We appreciate it. I uh, hope everybody has a great evening, great weekend. Yeah. And we will see you on the next one. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody.